This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Without a healthy mind, being happy is hard. Visit BetterHelp.com slash peer and see if online therapy is for you. Yo, that podcast people listen to one and only legend of winning, <laughs> a.k.a. Love. We here with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. On my left, I have my co-host, Agent Zero. Say what up. Welcome. And behind the desk, we have producer John. <laughs> Hove. <laughs> Hove. Do-rag hat. <laughs> Hove, come here, B. <laughs> New York. <laughs> Clap your fucking hands, nigga. Yeah. You sound like someone that just discovered Jay-Z. <laughs> like, Literally. Like, <laughs> that's Cap. <laughs> Hove. <laughs> Jay-Z. Actually, you know what, John? You know what, John? I'm, I'm going to call you on that. Name five Jay-Z songs. Oh, don't not, do that. Not, 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 Steady, <laughs> not, not Steady Empire. Okay. <laughs> Niggas in Paris. <laughs> okay. Uh, Blueprint. That's that's an album. That's a whole I know album. it's the greatest. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You feel me? Okay, three um, more. Nigga, not three, four, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> the album got more songs than what you requested. <laughs> <laughs> Case closed. That's what Hope will say. Sell crack on the block. Oh. I'm hot. <laughs> Hope. It's See? me. I actually don't think John has ever heard like I don't think Jay Z song. Yeah, I don't think Shut he's ever your heard. face. <laughs> Jay Z is oh. so great that like a few months ago I was just listening to old shit and I, I came across the blueprint and I had it on repeat for like a month. Everybody that rode in the car with me was sick of it by the time I got done playing mm. it. It was just a great album, man. John, before you look him up, let me let me hear it real quick. What do you mean? I ain't looking none up, man. <laughs> As his phone's in his boy. hand. <laughs> yeah, fine. Phone is in his hand. Nah, nah, nah. That's crazy. I that's the only thing you can name. I, I don't think you can actually. <laughs> you can't not the hustle, fuck nigga. You can't do that. <laughs> That's two, <laughs> fuck nigga. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We it's... actively see you looking down at your phone, <laughs> nigga. You literally said, "Stop, uh... stop. Look at me." Now nah, don't look at me, nigga. I'm too fresh. Stop it. Turn around. Don't look at me no more. It's <laughs> like a he's like a Key and Peele parody. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then you know what I do? Low for the, for the third track. I run the town. I run this town. Isn't that a Rihanna song? <laughs> no, no, it's Jay-Z. It's uh, Jay-Z. You got to know this. <laughs> Ho, it's right there. That's true. He's <laughs> right there. Look at him. That's crazy. You really don't know. Whole cup. That's crazy. I bet. You know, you're just young. Um, the old school style of rap where it was like a, a, lyrical, a, a lyrical verse. <laughs> Sorry, John's reaction is crazy right now. <laughs> he is, John. You're just young. <laughs> You old actually, I actually, 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 what? As you Eminem, but I don't think you. I legit don't think Bro, you know. He was my favorite rapper for like I ten see, years. I legit because Southern people don't like Eminem. I, yeah, I couldn't find an Eminem fan here. Yeah, Southern. Bro, Southern growing people up, Eminem. everybody loved Eminem. No cap. We just respected great artistry, man. But if I, I told John, Not afraid, Eight Mile, uh, I'm the real Slim Shady. Eight Mile is not a song. That's a movie. What's the- What's this? <laughs> <laughs> but if I told John to give me five, the, if my spaghetti I, arms are heavy, you tell yeah, me what is it? It's a sweaty. What is it? Huh? What is that song? That song? What Come is on, the name dog. of that song? You gotta know this one. Encore. Damn, that's another one. <laughs> that's not the same song. I'm saying, I'm just saying, I'm just so many classes are popping my head. Yeah. Encore is not a classic. <laughs> no, I mean. Yeah, it's not my bad. No, You're not, not a real fan. You You're not a real, my bad. You not a real fan. Don't speak on that. Find something safe to do with us real fans. You if know, it's a, if I it's think... a classic, give me two bars. Oh, which one? Encore. <laughs> you ask too many <laughs> questions. You <laughs> but if, many but questions. if I told John to give me five ludicrous songs, would you? Would you know it? Uh, yeah. Who let them dogs out? <laughs> He's just That's trolling. He's just trolling. <laughs> uh, My favorite ludicrous song is Burning Bridges, and nobody knows that song because it was on the EP that everyone forgot about. <laughs> mm. Hey, Curtain Call is one of the best albums of all time. I don't know how many people know that. Uh, Let me list off the tracks. Who? One of the best? Who? It's top 10, dog. Who? Uh, okay, so The Way I Am. Who is this? My name is... Eminem. Eminem, nigga. Oh. The guy you know so much about. <laughs> no, I was I thought you were talking about a new nigga. Uh, He's curtain. The nigga name is Curtain Call. That's a crazy okay. rapper Stan, name. which is one of the best pieces of work of okay. all time. The song John was trying to refer to, "Lose Yourself," right? Sing for the moment. Uh, without me, like toy soldiers, the real Slim Shady. Real Slim cleaning Shady. out my closet. 
Just Lose It, When I'm Gone, he did the version of Stan that had Elton John, uh-huh. and Shit On You. Classics. Renegade with Jay. Mm. Yeah. I skipped like yeah. six songs, but just those songs I listed, all on one album is crazy. That's an insane fucking list, bro. I wish people respected it more. Crazy. I wonder I wonder if, uh, can you give me five Lil Wayne songs? Lil Wayne, six foot, seven foot, eight foot, hut. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, uh, um, Carter. Okay. Uh, you know what I I'm guess. saying? Um, nah, that's not a song. <laughs> Carter? Mr. Carter is a song. Uh, I'm Mr. Carter. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Love song with him and Future and Rihanna. This is such a real. Uh, uh, um, uh, what's it called? I think it's called, is it Hate Me? Um, or I'm trying to remember. It's that song. My tongue, my, uh, my tongue is a Uzi. My AK, my t- is a Uzi, my is a AK. I know what you're talking about, but it's so odd that you're giving me like these deep cuts instead of just like like popular songs. Because you know what I'm saying, when you fuck with artists, you listen to the deep cuts. You can't always get. <laughs> I guess, oh, oh, I guess. Facts. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Facts, Real facts. listeners. Actually, you- I have no idea who song. Like, who would you just know off the top? Like five songs from. I actually don't know, John. Maybe you're not. Who you listen, who's your favorite artist? Actually. Maybe you're not as influenced by music as, as a lot of other people I know. Maybe not. Ask me somebody else. That's what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe, you're, maybe you're not. Coyle Ray? No, not Coyle Ray. Jesus Coyle Christ. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know she made five songs. Look, yeah. Oh, man. You so old. <laughs> this, name, name five right now, then. Huh? That's name five. Not. Name five. Uh, she, got, she got 20 of them. Uh, she got... I can't even confirm these. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 20 of them. You could just say a random song, I guess, and I'd believe you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I know that's that what song. that song is? Okay, yeah, I know that's okay. Yeah. Oh, she's been dancing to her you own song on TikTok? Dirt. <laughs> yes. All right, so that's one. She's been dancing to her own song then on TikTok? Huh? Yes. That's what everybody danced to on TikTok? No, she danced to I it I saw by her herself. dance to that song. I mean, yeah, she, she, she fuck with her shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna have that So that's one. So wait, no, John, that's one. Okay. Um. Uh. She had... Uh. She had uh, Slide, Slide, we're gonna. I'll just say two. Okay, give up. This is a lost cause. He hasn't no, named the most slide, popular song. Gonna. And then she got um, Big Brr. Okay, I was waiting for you to say that. Yeah, that's three, nigga. That's three? You just need two more. Oh, it's two just, more? Yeah, I, I said five. Said three. One is obvious. Huh? Yeah, there's one obvious one. Um, Then she got. Yeah, I was just say the one with dirt. I know, I just can't... Oh, I'm not a name came to me. No more parties. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and then the last one, just to put the little icing on the cake. Let's go ahead and wrap it up over with... Uh, let's see here. Wrap it up with... I don't think he knows. Give me a second. It is sad, know. though, that you know more Coyle Ray songs than Jay-Z, but who's counting? Niggas trying to paint a negative narrative on me. Man. You do though. You know more Coyle Ray songs uh-huh. than Jay Z. <laughs> and this old ass nigga wrong with it. I'm uh, saying that is a fact. You, you an old ass Charlemagne the God. I did. I thought you gonna say no more parties remix. That's what I thought you gonna say. Which would be a correct answer. It would be, but it's the same song. But I, I know. I think I know. You don't know, John. It's fine. I just don't think you're as influenced by music. Like I said before, like a lot of... I'm not really neither, to be honest with you. I didn't really grow up on it. But more than John, though. I I started growing up on music when LimeWire just popped off when I was in sixth grade. the same way that a lot of niggas were. No, some people, like, they had their parents play music their whole lives, and Uh, they all played instruments. Like, I didn't do that. True. Yeah. So who was your favorite artist, John? Because I I really would want to know. Like, what what, what did John be playing? Uh, You play R&B, that's what you told me. Uh, no, I like I like I like hip hop. I like R and B too. I, I'm a, I'm a vibe type of guy. I go with the vibe. So you more like Drake, Future? Okay, no, no, no. I'm go with Don the vibe. Tolliver. I like Don Tolliver. I'm, say, I'm okay. talking about influenced by the day of the night. You know what I'm saying? The time, the energy, the vibe, how I'm feeling at the time. That kind of you know what I'm saying? I'm I get what you're saying. But at night though, there's still a, a playlist of people. Like I'm I'm playing Don Tolliver at night more than I'm playing during the day. I'm on that vibe though. Don, Don Tolliver is like a... What song do you play at Don Tolliver in the day? Hmm? What song? A Don uh, Tolliver you playing in the day? Coco. You got... Uh, it's a song with Coco? him and Nav. I don't know that song. It's a couple. Him and Nav. Baby we got King. another song. 
uh, Flocky Flocky you could play during the day. That song is hard. Exactly. You but that's hard because of, I like relax, Travis Scott. Relax. Like, that Travis relax. Scott verse. He asked me a question, right? Now that, tra- but that Travis Scott verse. I don't verse. care how much you appreciate it now that I brought it up, nigga. I, mean, I don't appreciate it. You know crazy. what I'm saying? But you feel me? It's all about the vibe. You, can, hey, you know though. what I'm talking about? You can right though. Sometimes in a day where you may feel like how you feel at night or you may to be cruising. I mean, sometimes in a day where you want that uplifting music. So, you know, if I'm open to new music, if it sounds good, I'll listen, I'll listen to it. I'll give it a try. I mean, that's Cap. But it got to be a vibe, though. I think most people that say that is Cap, too. But, nah. it, but he but he saying it got to be a vibe. Though. It be but a vibe, you just mean, like, you just mean within your, like, your little subgenre, though, bro. Because... No, um, if you show me something that I don't even know about and it sound good, but, I'm going to like it. But, he, but, but like, you, you sound good is so subjective, though. Like, I, it, like, it could be any... What if I sent you some, like, punk music or... Uh, EDM. If it's fire, I'm gonna fuck with it. If I don't think it's fire, I'm gonna keep it real. But how you decide then? How you decide if it's fire? Off of his opinion. Of my opinion. You you apparently no, think it's fire. What's your criteria though? Me. What's your criteria? My criteria. Yeah. I like I like it sounds. So if it sounds good, like I don't have to. The lyrics don't have to matter. <laughs> the thing, there's no the way he's hard. <laughs> the beat's hard. Like it got like a fire. Like so <laughs> bass. So he likes bass. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's some fire ever. Like I'm like. I'm in it like this, and niggas be thinking I'm doing this. I don't bob for for the for shit show, you know. So I bob when that. Like, I hear that. I'm like, okay. I think for but me, he may start yelling some shit. I may not fuck with. I may not fuck with all the yelling and shit he's saying. But if the beat that's hard, not all, that's, not, that's, that's not, not all rock. No, 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 that's not. That's not punk. Isn't yelling. That's, that's metal that's rock. Right? Screamo, screamo. They be screaming. <laughs> screamo. Yeah. They have a genre called screamo. They have screamo. Screamo's like the extreme, and then there's like my interpretation is screamo, songs? rock, and then there's like punk. But like each one of those can have like a pop variation. Like you know how like like a boogie. I, t- I guess is a rapper, but he's like a pop rapper though. He's not Drake really a rapper. Drake is a better version of that. Um, what? What? Drake is a better rendition of a pop rapper. Yeah, yeah, I guess yeah. Drake. Drake is a rapper though. I'm not saying he's not, but I'm saying Drake is a rapper that makes hits. A boogie is like a he's like a pop rapper. Is he not technically because he doesn't really have a rap rap. You know, he, all, all his yeah. raps are melodies. But I, I think melodies is the thing that carries for me. I could listen to anything if it has a melody. I swear it could be anything. It could be on the brain food playlist. It could be punk music. The, the reason I say that is because most of the time when I play things like that in the whip, I just skip them now. But most people are like, oh, what the fuck is that? And I'm like, look at this closed-minded person. Or maybe, who knows? Maybe they just don't like it. But I've never had a positive a reaction. Chance. Like, if you got some shit, give it to me. If I'm, 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 I promise to But you to also above. live in Atlanta, though. I mean, you're, you're, you're in Atlanta right now where... If any person from Atlanta is in your car, nine times out of ten, their their interpretation of music isn't as diverse as a lot of other people. Yeah. I, I listen to probably my most listened to yeah. artist this year is Luke Christopher. Oh, no, not Luke Christopher. He was mine like a few years ago. He's an artist named um Damn, why am I blanking on his name? I'm about to pull up to his concert. Oh, I can't say that. I, mean, I can't say the name no more. Cause then people's gonna pull up and shit. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I listen to like a lot of uh, different shit. That's you, why. So you don't have a favorite artist? <laughs> he probably does. It probably change a lot, right? I just I just like music. Yeah, like, like music. You like rap and R and B. You say music, that means that means that I would assume that you would listen to more than just two genres. <laughs> So you like? Why is he laughing? That's what I said. I listen to music. I listen to country. I listen to pop. I look at the EDM. Okay, what name? All right, again, name me five country songs. See, I know you're gonna do that, but I don't listen to it where I remember. I just turn it on because it's a vibe. Like some, it's, it's, I, and if, for example, what got me back to the countryside? Because middle school, I used to listen to a lot of country to go to sleep. It was just soothing. <laughs> It was something about that me- melodic tone that helped me sleep. So 94.5 The Bulls on my little CD player. And when I go to bed, I hop on my bunk. And you know what I'm saying? And I just think about you all the time. <laughs> Country music gets mad repetitive. I guess rap does too. It is. Rap, rap. Uh, I just noticed, I just no, noticed it more. Thing, it depend- no, it, no, it's not. Are you kidding hey, me? By, How many songs song, you heard about the same thing, sliding on this songs. person and spinning on this person? But you can go to, you can listen to other artists in that that content I'm, I'm just not, talking about like the top 1% musicians in rap is like I just notice it more when I'm listening to country though like the third mention of like jeans or a tractor I'm like damn or <laughs> stars in the sky stars in the sky stars in the sky the cold one for sure <laughs> don't forget the cold one stars in the sky is by as repetitive as Pick a nigga talking truck. about the stick on them it go all the <laughs> way down from Dodge to Ram 
Uh, jizz realm. <laughs> you know, the thing about rap, though, is that <laughs> the the hot theme, like, changes. You know, like... <laughs> Get out of Dodge with my ram is fucking crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I, the same thing, but it's okay. Boy, F one fifty. I feel like yeah, I, I agree with you that <laughs> Chevys. <laughs> Which one do you select? That's tough. <laughs> That's tough. Jeeps, Jeep Look, Wranglers. I, I, I only time I listened to country was like a very small portion of my life, and even then, it was like a certain type of country. I'm pretty sure was very popish. Same thing with punk and and other type of rock. I could see you listen to punk. You know your mommy of. Who? Mario Judah. I didn't, I didn't even say that. Oh, wow. I can see that. You see it? Yeah. You see the Mario Judah him? I can see it, man. Do this right quick, low. Say, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Go ahead for the one time. Take your glasses off. For the pod. No, nigga. For the pod. Look, yeah, give me, your, give me a rock and press. Back, and also, um, unleash your Mario Judah. Oh, what's what's my man name? Not only um Tentacion, but also Ski Mask and them like that. All that shit was. You listen to Ski Mask and XX Tentacion? That shit was hard when that shit came out. No cap. Oh, so you don't listen to it. You, you wouldn't like it now. No, I'm saying when it came out. What are you talking about? You know, he don't... Ski Mask don't make the same... He don't make the same type of songs he used to make. I haven't heard him in... So, I listen to... You know sometimes when you listen to an album and it makes you lose faith in somebody? I listened to an album of his and I was like, damn, no hits. Wow. And I just never, like, re listen Oh, yeah. Ski Mask is not someone that I would listen to a whole album of. It's like... Very selective songs, like five, 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 four or five songs, and then like that's it. I'm just I'm yeah. Not. He's in like such a weird niche in rap, like, but he has like his little hardcore fans. Oh, for sure, for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? How he raps so fast though? Huh? How, How he raps? So he does really, rap. He's not rap. really he rapping fast, but it's more so syllables. He just pick words that like are multi syllables, so it sound like he's rapping. Like, give me, fast, give me a bar. So. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't know. Capper, no, bro. Even even Buster even Buster Rhymes admit they said the same thing as well. It's, it's not you rapping. Even um Eminem says the same thing too. It's more so about how you manipulate syllables and you actually rapping fast because you're you're actually. probably because without you knowing, he's probably only saying like like we got, five five or six words. We came to that conclusion. We told you to rap a lyric. Oh, he just did ask you to like that. He said rap a lyric. I don't know, but uh. No, but I don't fuck with Ski Mask that much, though. He's straight, yeah. though. He's straight. He's straight, but I don't fuck with him that much. Yo, um, all my podcast people, uh, hit the subscribe button, notification bell, Naughty Gang, 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 Gang. Uh, audio listeners, Apple, et cetera, et cetera. Rate us a five Why star. Hold on. You got something on your face. Am I tripping? I thought I was tripping. I thought it was a light. You see that, too? No. You don't see that on his face? Mm-mm. Like, around your mouth, it's like some white stuff. White? I just white, figured it was white, Vaseline. White. That's Vaseline. That's, it just shining through the light. Well, you, got like you know sometimes light. when you apply Vaseline, but you miss your lip? <laughs> oh, that's what it is? Damn, bro. <laughs> you had it all over your face. It's just shining. <clears throat> Damn, nigga didn't even say that. white shit around I just figured mouth. it was Vaseline. Oh, but it must be. Niggas got on me uh, in a playback video. They're like, whoa, the whole time loaded. Agent did tell Load that this was, I forgot what you did. Which if something happened with someone's up with your like, clothes or your face or something, like Agent didn't correct him. But I'm the number one corrector. But sometimes I just think people do it on purpose. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I was, it was bothering me because I kept saying it. <laughs> it, was, it was like, normally, hey. normally, I just put on like a lot of Vaseline if I'm just chilling at the house or some type of chapstick when I'm chilling at the house. And I'm just, I just let it sit because it's like, I'm just let it sit right here while I'm working. Because I ain't going to see nobody. Them bit juicies. <laughs> oh, my Low God. Low trying to train them bit juicies. Wow. <laughs> hey, this nigga right here. That boy yeah. said, I just put a bunch on. Let it sit. You're an inspiration, man. A true inspiration. Facts, you have a kid put a hella Vaseline on your lips sitting around the house. I want to be like, why? Stuff. Why not? Why would you not do that? What? I just like drinking things throughout the day. So, like. Oh, no. But if, if I'm about to go, like, an hour or two straight without doing nothing, without eating anything, without drinking nothing. Like, I'm about to just straight work. I actually just do it when I go to sleep. That's what I do it as yeah. well. Yeah. Same thing. So you do it twice a day? <laughs> I, do it as, I do it as often as I need to, dog. I do it as often as I need <laughs> my to. Bad, my bad, my bad. I just try to clarify. For all the kids, I want to try this, this new routine. The Vaseline. We call it Vaseline Deep Soak. <laughs> Vaseline Deep Soak. It's fucking nasty as hell. A Vaseline Deep. Deep. Lip interior. Oh, Will Smith came out and said something else, but it's not about what you call it. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah, he said something about offing his father, which is crazy. Yeah. What? I, I think it's... Yeah, he said he he, he contemplated offing his father. Offing his father? Yep. 
Connect the dots, John. We're not going to... I know. Because last I, time we did this, we had... No, 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 no. I knew what you were saying. I just had to, like, process it, like... Because if I'm not mistaken, his, his father his father legitimately, like, left him. Like, I don't abandoned know. him. And for, shout out to Will, bro. Will is, like, a opportunist. I think he means well. Um, I think yeah, sometimes he, associ- he associates he himself Whoa. with, like, like toxic people. Um, and that might be just because of, like, I don't know, the way he grew up. Wanted to avenge his mom. Yeah. So he, he's dropping a book. Not only that, you know, Will Smith gained a bunch of weight during COVID. And he, I guess on some, like, real opportunistic type shit, he's like, how do I lose all this weight? Well, he made, it like, a YouTube original series where he documented him losing all the weight. And I thought that was so fucking cool because it's like when I when I'm losing weight, you look to other people who've done it for like inspiration. And there's a lot of YouTubers I watched do transformations or just like look way better over time that inspired me. So I'm like, man, I can't even imagine how many people Will Smith is gonna move to be able to like be more healthy when he drops that shit. And I saw, I think he dropped a teaser or something like that like last week. So he's been up to a lot, bro, like a lot. Yeah, I'm um. The more and more I learn about Will Smith, the more and more I I, uh, I appreciate who he is as as a man. I'm looking at the weight loss journey right now. Yeah, I'm very very appreciative of his 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 effort and his his work ethic and and everything he's done. You know, tra- transform and transcend a lot of a lot of aspects of his life. Because yeah, the more and more I learn about him, the more I'm like, wow, that's nah, he's that's a, pretty pretty he's great. A, he's a great individual. He's the definition of like great. Yeah. Like he's managed to be that right there. No Will Smith might be uncancelable. No, he he's easily cancelable. He's easily. Yes. I don't know if he's easily because he has a he has a positive brand. Positive brands are easy to tarnish. Oh yeah, but I Toxic mean, like brands are impossible to cancel. I mean, I mean, like let me not say that, but like he's like probably one of the highest approved people. Oh yeah, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. First, that was Kevin Hart, and I was like, oh man, that that happened pretty quickly. But look, like Kevin it's Hart cheated. Him and the Rock are competing. Kevin Hart cheated, and ev- immediately everybody turned on him. And I but thought to myself, that like, is out the window with Jada now. <laughs> yeah, but even if she came out and said something about Will, or he was like, unf- I don't. Who, but it, well, here's the point, though. I, I don't think he's look. Fuck. I'm not Will Smith, so I don't get Will Smith options. If I cheat. That's a bad look on me, bro, because it's not, I'm not tempted as much. Will Smith can fuck anybody he wants to and he chooses not to. He needs to be like, there needs to be awards for that type of self-restraint. Mm. There needs to be awards. It's one thing if a nigga that, that would... That needs to be a, a cash prize. <laughs> <laughs> most faithful is nigga. And most faithful, that needs to be, bro, because honestly, besides like LeBron... I can't really think of too many like people at the top of entertainment who haven't cheated. I can't think of it, bro. But what if they all just cheated, but their wives are just like, I get it. He's like, then it's not cheating. If your wives agree on it, it's not oh, okay, cheating okay. is when you betray their trust. True. So like if I fuck somebody else and I'm in a relationship, that's fucked up. Like, come on. I'm like, I'm a, I'm a fucking YouTuber that some people know about. Right. But you have, you, you, you have higher. Stop it. My audience is like 90% men. No, so no, 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 no. It's, I'm it's, saying it's not even like I've. <laughs> most of a million is a lot. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> to, to, but I'm no, but what, what I was going to say, but you, you have higher, you have more opportunity than most men. Which is, n- no, I wouldn't even say that. Because I don't put myself in the way of those opportunities. Yeah, you don't really go out. The oh, only way I would have those opportunities if I was store. if I was one of those people that's in my Instagram DM request all day f- searching for it because I could find it. Like it's there's people hitting me up saying shit. He can find it, but <laughs> but because I don't go out enough where you would usually get approached the most, mm. um, it would just be a bad. That's just that's bad for me. That's like wow, you're really weak. So like and you then really it's, went to find that pussy, like yeah, it, it really kind of you really, you put some work in for that. Pussy. Yeah, if you have to put work in, then you fucked up. Yeah, that's if you have to like repel people, then it's like okay, think about it now. I will never know what it's like to be in the position where 90% of women just want to fuck me all the time. Like, mm. and all, and they're good at, so there you go, they go, there they go seducing me again mm. after a long day of work and wife is like across the country. It'd really be nice to get my dick sucked. Like, I get how I can be tempting, so I can't sit here and yeah, judge. A girl come up to you and say, I want to suck that right now. And it's like, I had to say no to that. Not once. Forever, every day, I have to keep saying no. You can't ever mess up. Like that's, that's crazy to be at that. That's why Long I got day. mad when. That's why I got mad when uh, Tiger lost all his brands and stuff. Because I was like, hold on now, none of us know what it's like to be Tiger. 
None of us, bro. And the same thing applies to women, dog. Not only that, None of us know what it's like I to be. I can't imagine nobody working at Nike ain't never cheated on nobody. I can't, like, like no way y'all niggas got rid of that nigga. Oh, yeah, yeah, of that. It's, these are just stories we find out about. But as a person who's never done it before, I will never know what position I had to put myself in to eventually break. And I don't really want to find out, to be honest with you, at the end of the day. I never want to, you know what I'm saying? But hey, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? People <laughs> lost their whole careers. And you would think like Tiger was a porn star or something, the way they yeah, cashed no. him. Tiger's job had nothing to do with sex. I hear slanging <laughs> shit on animals. <laughs> <laughs> Which yeah. is crazy. You know, you know, I just thought about it. Tiger was up there too with the approval rating, and they got that. Nigga yeah, out they of packed here. him up. That's what I said. You have to have a toxic fan base for you to be uncancelable. But him and The Rock. Like they tried the baby, and I was like, that's not gonna work. They're trying with Dave Chappelle right now. And that's not going to work. work. And I don't even think Dave Chappelle has a toxic fan base. I think he just has a very critical one. Yes. So if he did something fucked up, I think they would hold him accountable. For sure. But um, but what he's doing right now is like, no, come on, dog. No, nah, David's doing comedy. Yeah. It's funny. I saw... I saw um, Did you see? So you saw it. You actually saw what he said. I watched the whole special multiple times. So is, was there anything that you felt like he said where you were like, all right. Bro, some people... Um, <laughs> They get bored and come up with problems to entertain themselves. If I went to a comedy show and somebody made a whole bunch of Ethiopian Muslim jokes, I don't then dislike the comedian. Like, yeah. it's maybe I didn't find it funny because I was offended. I could still be offended about it. But what I'm not about to do is spend any energy following up with them on Twitter. If you're in the front row and he keeps saying the jokes and looking dead at you. Bro, I, I, pulled up to, I pulled up to a comedy show in New York at, at the Comedy Cellar. And it was like two, three lesser known comedians, John Mulaney and Chris Rock. Every wow. every single one of them made jokes because the only reason we got into that comedy club was because the group at the front didn't show up. And we just showed up on some like, yo, did anyone not show up? We're trying to get in type shit. We just walked there because we were in Manhattan. And they let us in. So we walked in during the first comedian set. Now, you know, when you pull up to a comedy show, a lot of times the comedians aren't like in a separate green room. They're yeah. just in the tuck in the back, like in the dark. <laughs> So they all saw me walking in late and they made a whole bunch of wild wow, black people late jokes, but not generic ones. Like in funny ways, they integrated it into their set. Yo, Johnny, y'all niggas, as you approach. All Let's of see. them. And you keep, imagine like you could touch them. They're right here. And there's a f- comedy club full of people. And it's just funny. I did not once take offense to it that a white person was saying a black person being joke like didn't care. I pulled up to a comedy show. I'm expecting jokes to be made, dog. Some people just understand that and some people don't. I well, get it like looking at you saying Ethiopia is ugly as fuck. I'd like, be like, damn, that's, that's how you feel right here. But it's like, you know, what's reality, John. Some people genuinely feel that way. <laughs> so, and it's like, if you don't like East Africans, no, stop it. If you don't like East Africans, then that's literally your prerogative. You don't need to tell me that dog. That's OD. But it's like it's about how you interpret information. At the end of the day, what they, the argument was is that Dave Chappelle was saying things that uh, res- they argued it was violence and that it was damaging to people. And I would argue that you need to prove it's damaging to people with more than just anecdotes. And not that because the anecdotes are not important, but because you trying to censor somebody you need to provide like an overwhelming amount of evidence that what someone said is damaging. Like if I say I hate people in blue shirts, I think they all uh, smell like weed and are broke. Like uh, people with blue shirts should be like, damn, why you feel that way? Maybe someone would get offended by that. What color you wear? What shirt? What color are you wear? Pretty blue to me. Yeah, so both of y'all really. So, but if you told me show, if if Lo came to me and said, comedy show. I don't like, I don't like. That you said that, and I'll be like, damn, you don't really have to. But you arguing that what I said was violence and that, you know, it's going to inspire other people to hate blue shirts. It's like maybe like the people on stage have an influence 100 percent, but people still make decisions at the end of the day. And that's not to say influence is (laughs) null and void, but it's just like what we got to. You know, Eminem said something interesting in that album that you didn't know nothing about Curtain Call, where he was almost responding to the criticism that. A lot of suburban like parents were pointing the finger at him saying he was a bad influence on kids. And he had a line, I wish I knew verbatim, but he basically pointed the finger back at them and said, like, you chose to like allow your kids to watch me. They're your kids. If my influence is so bad, why don't they commit a crime and you convict me of it? He said something to that nature. He said it lyrically and it was yeah. it sounded great in the song. 
And it's the same thing happening. The same thing that happened to Eminem in the early 2000s is what's happening to Dave Chappelle right now. They're trying to project a lot of, like, there's disadvantaged people in the world. I think it's a, it would be a sad world where we can't make fun of that. You know what I'm saying? The, the times I've gotten a chance to speak to people with disabilities, and keep in mind, I refereed wheelchair basketball for a bit in college. So I, I talked to people who, like, they, a lot of them had disabilities of some sort. The one thing they disliked more than anything else was people feeling pity for them. Because yeah. it's like, imagine everywhere you went, people just felt sorry for you. So if I hold the door open for someone who's able-bodied, I, it's the same way I hold the door for somebody who's in a wheelchair or have some kind of disability because I don't, you don't need people to feel bad for you all your life. It's just not necessary. And I think being able to make jokes about people is part of like opening that door. And sometimes you can find healing through comedy. And Dave Chappelle gave a great example of someone who was trans that did exactly that, that found his comedy to be not only enlightening but inspiring. And it helped inspire her comedy journey. So when you watch his whole special and you get to the end, you might even tear up um, if you just took a chance to listen to what he had to say and you weren't, like, in defense the whole time. And keep in mind, I'm a huge Chappelle fan, so... Well, even even when I, I heard it, it was nothing that I was like, this shit right here is like, yo, he going overboard. Like, he od Like, it, it was nothing that he said that I felt like was OD. And what maybe even worse is that I feel like a lot of people... Are not even listening to what he says. Like they're just reacting because someone else is reacting. And then also, like, a lot of niggas go to comedy clubs and get offended by jokes. It's like, niggas, stop going, bro. If you don't, if you, if you don't like the joke, if you don't like if you want to hear jokes or if you're that sensitive to what someone's gonna say, don't go to a comedy club. You know what the fucked up part I about just it is? Don't well? get that. Is that like look, let's say you don't like Trump. Bro, uh mainstream media was making fun of him. For his four years at presidency, yeah. nonstop, they were berating this man. You could argue a lot of the jokes that a lot of those late night talk show hosts made, or all those like cable television shows. All those jokes they made would inspire a lot of like violence by that same logic. Like we're we so openly make jokes about people that we're in opposition to, like maybe ideologically. But the second a joke is made at your expense, like it's something that has to be stopped. Yeah, but that's but, but Chappelle said that before, like how, um, he when he was at when he was at Comedy Central and he was like, he had made a bunch of black jokes, like a bunch of black jokes on his show, right, to a point where he literally has, like a sketch where it's a white family and their last name is Nigga. Not not N I G G A. I don't remember that one. I don't remember that one. You don't remember that? No. <laughs> and let me be clear. Not N I G G A. The hard R, and they literally have a, a, a theme song for them. It's the nigga family, <laughs> like all, all that, all that stuff. The the milkman, the milk. Chappelle's playing the milkman. He's a black milk, milkman. He's like, hey niggas, like he just comes in, says all that, and so like that's a that's a running joke that their last name is niggas, right? <laughs> so, he has it's literally. A whole sketch. All Caucasian school. <laughs> it's a it's a this whole is sketch. Niggas. <laughs> Literally. Mr. Niggas is here. Most, Have you seen? Right. Mr. Anyway, so so he's like, yo, I made I made that entire joke, and y'all didn't say not a word. Like nobody said nothing. But then he ironically did a sketch about gay people. And he said the f word, and then Comedy Central came up. He's like, yeah, can we not? Let me take that out. He was like, "What?" Like, at first, I think I, I think at first he said he agreed to. It. He was like, but then he paused and thought, like, "Why? Why? Wait, wait, why? Why are we? Why are we taking it out? Why are we? Why am I taking out that one word when I've literally had several different jokes about black people and y'all Bro, were all comfortable a, with that?" There was a skit about a slave draft where different races of people were at a draft about the. Uh, a slave draft or a race draft? Race draft. Sorry, yeah. a race a slave draft. draft. Not, 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 race draft. And they were just, it was just making fun of like generic stereotypes about different races. It didn't even that bad. But it was hilarious though. And I remember thinking like, I missed that type of comedy. Even like Key and Peele was like a more mute version of that, but they still did some wild shit. They did a slave draft. <laughs> oh, did they? Yeah, they, 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 they're the ones who, Key, Key and Peele were up there with oh. two other, with a whole bunch of black people. And after like the third Oh, they pick, did. He's like, damn, he's I like, didn't get picked. Yeah, he's like, I didn't get picked. Yeah, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> he was like, and then he would be going, like, next going, up, his competition would be like a bodybuilder. And he'd be like, 
And then after the, the first week, he's like, I can understand why he got him. He got kicked. <laughs> like, he's nice and strong, burly. I get, I understand that. And then the, the fourth person was like some fat dude, fat tall guy. He was like, now, nah, hold on now for a second. Hold on, I don't understand what's going on. So, yeah, shit oh, like that is... You made it seem like that was, that was the goal. Yeah. <laughs> Like, shit like that is like... Hey, fuck, they gotta wait another year? <laughs> shit. To me, shit like that is hilarious. And uh, I'm black. I'm black I and I still so find that shit hilarious. Round 37th, 126th pick. <laughs> crazy. Oh, and, they, and, and you also crazy? Even in the, in, even in the like, the, some of the deleted versions of, like, some of those, the Lost Chappelle episodes, mm-hmm. the whole time machine, the time, um, they would go back in time and shit like that, and they try to free the slaves. They also held that back because the the dude like he like he played as a pimp. Chappelle plays as a, a pimp in this episode, and him and a bunch of other his pimp hating friends go back in time, and they try to liberate slaves. And in in the in the which call it like there's a scene where one of the slaves asks the time time machine pimps like how 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 how, how long it gonna take for us to be free. And in Chappelle, as a as a time, oh, that's crazy. Time, I had my head down. I just heard the pain in your acting. <laughs> Do it again. Hold on. He Do said. He said. He said. How 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 long is it gonna take for us to be free? And then Chappelle, as a fucking time machine, nigga, was like, "How about you now?" Pulls out a gun and shoots the slave owner. And then Comedy Central was like, "Let's hold back on that one for a second. I was like, "Nigga, what?" And that shit was. To me, it was fucking gold. I was dying. And then, like, so it just, it bothers me because it's like, y'all niggas is okay with black people being made fun of. It's everybody. And white people being made fun of. And really, almost anyone else being made fun of. But as soon as we start getting on y'all asses, and not even in a crazy way. Nobody not even saying anything. Well, Chappelle, let me say not anyone. Chappelle wasn't even saying anything that nuts or crazy. Yo, I was... Um, Come on, dog. I went to... You wasn't there. Um, it was a lot, a lot of people there, but you wasn't there. I went to that Bill Burr show. Bill Burr is a master... You was you didn't get a chance to go, It's crazy I didn't crazy. even say it like that. Crazy. No, he's the master at saying offensive things, but getting people to agree with you. Like, he'll say something crazy... And he'll walk you through it with jokes and help you come to the same conclusion. He came to Georgia, and you could tell, like, he's not in the South that much, just by the way he was talking about Georgia. And he was rattling off the funny... He found a way to offend everybody there, bro. And and especially white women. He was really going at that specific subgenre of people. <laughs> what did he say? I'm not gonna retell his jokes. It wouldn't do no justice. But oh, he, made, go, he made he made he made huh? We didn't, he said, we didn't go. We didn't want to hear the joke. Oh, I can't. You guys should have just went there. Yeah, you should have just went to the show. Mm, you might be able to catch him when he comes back one day. Can't help a brother out. I know. <laughs> Sad. No, but um, I like comedy a lot. Like it's it's such an enjoyable thing to watch. Even when it's done poorly, it's entertaining because the person's bombing. It's one of those ones where like you can almost always find some some comedy, some joy in it. But anyway, all of that to say, like, he's done way more offensive things. I get it. Way, like, way more offensive times things. Times changed and all of that, but... Um, no, he's just, he's just done way more offensive things. And the fact that, like, for years... And one of the, the lead people, I don't know if you saw that as well, somebody made a montage of all of the, like, crazy stuff. The lead... The, the, the person who was leading the charge to try to get rid of Dave yeah, Chappelle yeah. Cancel. They, somebody made a video of a montage of, like all the crazy thing they've said on Twitter over the past couple of years. And it's like crazy. Like talking about people need to self delete, uh-huh. calling awesome. people, like all like a whole bunch of like crazy stuff. I'm like, bro, there's no way you're about to be the face of leading a charge to try to cancel somebody because you believe what someone said was quote unquote violent. And yet here you are like spewing some of the craziest hate rhetoric I've seen. Well, let me not say I've seen because some of us say, you're on par with some of the craziest hate rhetoric I see on Twitter. So what are we, what are we even talking about right now? I think there's like a line um, where you cross into hate and trying to understand where that is independent of like how you believe certain things are. Like, let's say you make a joke. Just because it's a joke about me doesn't mean I should move the line on where it becomes hateful. Yeah. Um, 
I think that's important, man, because hate speech is nobody should tolerate that. That's fucked up. And that does happen. That's a real problem. That's not what Chappelle did, though. Especially when I only view it as hate when it's like. Like, there's no premise behind it. It's just I aimlessly am just saying this shit just to say it. If I'm saying it either to get a joke off or try to like try to better help you understand a point like Bill Burr does sometimes or like I'm trying to tell a story. I'm just trying to like give you a different perspective, then I, it's hard. It just makes it significantly harder for me to understand how something can be hate in those regards. But you aimlessly going on Twitter saying crazy stuff is much closer to hate speech than whatever you think Chappelle was doing. Like, that's just, well, I, don't, I don't know. Yeah. But Chappelle didn't say nothing crazy, and it's so odd to me that even in his other specials, Chappelle has said other things, and recently, not like... Dating 15 years ago, just his more, more recent specials. He said crazy things about white people and black people and Asian people and a whole bunch of other people. But as soon as he says something critical of that group, all of a sudden now he's canceled. It's like, but you weren't, you didn't have that same energy when he was saying that about black people. So what are you talking about? You had the same energy for white people, you had the same energy for women, you had the same energy for like you didn't weren't trying to cancel him for all that other stuff. So y'all are openly admitting that y'all don't mind being in a different group of people or different class of people when that's 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 just that would literally defeat the purpose of equality literally yeah um it's not even like he's an activist this is a comedian yeah. <laughs> by the way he's a comedian um i saw somebody um not that it represents everybody but i saw somebody say um the baby showed um remorse so like he's forgiven, but Chappelle's not forgiven. Like so from the LBGTQ <laughs> CEO. CEO. So the, there's a C. What? The so CEO. that's what I thought that's at first crazy. too. No, 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 there, there isn't though. It was just the org that represents. Oh, okay. So it's not like the coal movement has a CEO. I was about to say that's crazy because black people ain't got no CEO. <laughs> That's but crazy. that's so that that's what people on Twitter started doing. They're like, "Damn, can I be the CEO of straight people?" They're yeah. like, "Hi, hi." But um, I'll be the CEO of fat black niggas. No, no there, cat, there bro. is there is the like BLM is an actual org, and the and leader should, of I'm sorry, and the leader be. of that org is a millionaire. Be. By the way, it shouldn't be. Think about that real it quick. It shouldn't be. Isn't that crazy? It shouldn't be. A, it shouldn't be a fucking so she, CEO so that you of BLM. Donated, she bought a G class. <laughs> It shouldn't be. She got it a G sixty three. It, it, it should not AMG. be a fucking CEO of a black movement. That's so fucking dumb. <laughs> I, I, I and that's I, a, and that's me. a reason for people out there who try to figure out like why I don't be talking about this shit on Twitter. Why I don't be marching out because they had a whole bunch of marches out in Atlanta. It's like cause y'all niggas are just aimlessly doing that shit just to say y'all can do it. There's no actual like plan. And then come to find out three four years later. Somebody got rich off of y'all niggas, like just you know aimlessly what the, going somewhere. You know what like, the frustrating on, part for me is, Marcel? Minneapolis just voted against uh, abolishing the police force there, which, like, oh, okay, maybe the police are necessary. But it was after, like, there was a heavy movement to do that. I don't know if you remember, like, last year. Yeah. It was, everybody was like, yeah, get rid of the police over there. It's not that that... Irrelevant on where you speak about abolishing the police, defunding the police, it, that's irrelevant. What's relevant is that there is a body called BLM where they got so much money in the last year and a half and they couldn't come up with a better solution, like real legislation that could create real change. And I get it. Nothing's like that easy. And like maybe the wins are just small wins and you can never really get a big win. But it's like, damn. But you can, though. This, that's why I don't even really try to like. But you can. How, if, how if, you doing I mean, well, I mean, we're living proof that there's such things as big wins. When they allow black people to go into the same schools as white people, that's a big win. Yes. When they when they allow black people to live in the same neighborhoods as white people, that's a big win. When they were trying to get rid of just segregation as a whole throughout yeah, the right. 40s, 50s, and 60s, those are big wins. So, yes, there are such things as big wins. But when I stop and I see in, um, what's that? Is it Flint or is it Ferguson or whatever is that where, like, the water is just Flint. disgusting. Flint. Flint. Like, how, like, what, like, why are y'all not protesting that? Why? Like, why, why, like, that should be, that should have been at the top of the list for me to hear that someone is a multimillionaire right that's now. That's what I'm talking about. Like, you're still, the first step story. You're going to start that movement. I don't, but it shouldn't, I, I, we're in 2022 no, you're right now. you going to start that. Nah. 
I mean, way, to, way to put that first foot forward. We're in, hashtag, we're no in for 2022, friend. and every single time I'm on Twitter every six months and I see somebody say, just update, still bad water here. Lo, you're like, a millionaire. How? You're a millionaire. It's, Go ahead and drop a little bag on them folks. I'm not going to lie. It's a lot of tap water in this country. I don't... I, like, I used to... Bro, I lived off tap, but not that it was incredibly healthy in Toronto or anything. But I just, I just don't trust in this country. That's why I buy water bottles so much. I spend so much money on water bottles. I don't need to, it's just because I don't trust like city water sources. But it's that, but that's crazy. But that, that is like to an extreme level where you can visibly see like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This no, it was, it was crazy. bad. It was bad. So it's like I, I look at that. I'm like, man, there's so many things that y'all could legitimately be protesting to legitimately change. And y'all are just aimlessly protesting just to protest. Not saying that those things aren't good in spurts, but that shouldn't be the whole imagery of what BLM is. Because, again, we people were asking this question four or five years ago when they started. And here we are now, five years later. And I don't know of that many legislations that have been changed. Not saying there hasn't been any. But I don't know of any legislation that has been changed. It's, I think it's like to inspire like a big movement like that, you need like a momentous event. And it could be like a tragic one. It almost wouldn't make sense for it to be a tragic yeah, one to like rally sure. behind. But at the same time, when I think of the stuff that disadvantaged me in this country the most is not the police. Yeah, I get pulled over a ton, but I have like a couple dozen tickets in the state already. It is fucking brutal, dog. I was at court last week. It is not fun. But I think about like how we had to try 30 times to get a house. And a lot of the times when we got rejected, it was because they saw our ID. And yeah, probably age played a big role. But I think them seeing me and like, oh, he's black too. I think that played a role as well. I think things that prevent we, we me know from... That, we know that played a role for at least two of the houses. Yeah. Four or five. Those type of things that prevent me from developing wealth... Because at the end of the day, like, we're trying to set ourselves up for life and our families for life, right? Mm-hmm. Like, those things should be the focus, in my opinion. So if there's a movement, that's a, it's a great cause to make sure that police are fully trained. Because they're supposed to help keep you safe and reduce the crime. That's the purpose of police is to serve the community. Uh, but a lot of the times, depending on the police officers, they don't end up doing that. They just get fucking power hungry. Um, that being said, I just feel like there's so much better things you could have done with millions of dollars to help improve the lives of black people. There's so many different ways I would have done that, man. It's harder to get a good mortgage rate. It's like, bro, the bias is across the board, dog. Trying to get a job becomes more challenging. It just is biased and exists. And if someone can't recognize their own bias, they're not going to act to equalize it. Um, End of the day, bro, the way I live my life is... It's not that I don't care, it's that I have to get it done regardless. So I don't care I got rejected from this eight times, I had to try a ninth time. Like, it doesn't matter to me because I just had to keep pushing forward. But this, that shouldn't have to be the case, though. Not saying, like, the struggle is just one way. Like, everybody kind of struggles at the end of the day. But that's why I'm always, like, iffy about, like, charities, bro. I, I like, I think it's more useful grassroots. Like, if you see someone in need, it's like, help an individual. And maybe they could pay it forward once they get in a better position and they're no longer in debt and things like that. That's at least how I see it, man. But uh, there's so much fucked in this country. You ever, if you ever watch John Oliver, like, it's like when you watch his videos, it's like he's tackling issues that are happening in the world. It could be like the healthcare system being fucked up or like car insurance people being fucked. It could be the, any specific topic. And it just helps you realize like how many demented ways that humans just take advantage of other humans. Which is and awesome it actually crazy. gets kind of sad at a certain point. Very, very, very crazy. But I don't know. I agree with you. I feel like the, the best way for a lot of people to kind of survive is to, to just, you, I mean, you're going to have to persevere because again, since y'all niggas is just, there's no, you're not, have, you're not coming with any legitimate solutions or legislation Y'all just doing it just to say y'all can do it, bro. Like y'all, then that means that everyone else is still gonna have to just accept what the facts are, and then y'all have to just push through whatever y'all need to push through. And then in the process, sure, employ the people that you believe are disenfranchised, who probably need to receive the right opportunities, who are actually adequate enough at the job and aren't getting the right opportunities because of their skin or their their last name or their first name. But at the end of the day, like, bro, y'all need like I just. I don't know. I just, I just look at that whole BLM situation. I'm like, bro, there's no way y'all niggas did that for five years. There's no way y'all just did that for the last five, six years. There's no way y'all just did that. And they, y'all legitimately just did that. 
That's nuts to me. Straight nuts. Yeah. I wonder... Um, I always was kind of curious how people choose the things that they care about. And I think... I was explaining this to someone else like a, a few weeks ago. Like, I think people lie a lot when they say they care about certain things. Like, um, like John, do you care about uh, unemployment benefits? No. Okay. Do you care, though? Do I care? Yeah. What, like, I, I know enough. I know some, enough about it. Is that a topic that you care about? Care to fix or, like, just care to know about? Just care. Uh, not really, no. Okay, so you guys are being honest. What I think a lot of people do is they realize, like, oh, that's an important topic. I care about it. But when I ask the follow-up question, all right, what have you done in the past, like, 12 months to, like, do something about it? Like, did you join an org? Did you volunteer? Did you donate money? The answer is crickets. So, but the, the reality is... crickets. Yeah, so it's like, crickets. So it's like, okay, um, Asian, do you care about um, people getting censored in Hong Kong? Answer can't be yes. I just watched videos about it. I, I mean, I know the topic exists, but I didn't do the first thing to help them. Fair. So how can my answer be yes, I care about it? I think a lot of people do a lot of like faking. Like they, they fake care about things because it makes them feel like their life serves a bigger purpose than being a like self-indulging dickhead. Well, you know what I care about? What you care about? Independent creators, man. Okay. Bought some merch from a couple of people recently. Oh yeah, you do have merch from a lot of content creators. Yeah, yeah. I've been seeing you just. I saw you with the Jay Jones merch, yeah. um, and the fucking comment section was like, "Oh, that never fold merch." As er, yeah, I got the. Oh, so uh, I got it on. oh shit! I got my hey. shit in my room. Yes, sir. Hey, you know what I'm saying, Jay Jones? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, I fold over here. I got the that players, uh, players shirt, players choice shirt, the black one that says casual on it. Mm. Got that one as well. What else you got? I got. I actually got a basketball reference shirt now. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, mm. I didn't know they had shirts. Yeah, they actually just released. And I was like, I'm buying that shit. One, one was orange, and I was like, that'll pop up thumbnails easily, dog. And that's fire because you use them a lot. Facts. <laughs> like, I, I can support y'all niggas. Come on, dog. I can support y'all <laughs> niggas. I just bought TBH um, and Gaming Illuminati um, merch. That shit should be coming through. I bought somebody else's merch as well. But yeah, you're right. I, that's probably the one thing I actively care about right now. Independent content creators. Yeah, and there's so many ways just to show you now. care, man. Yeah. I think like Mr. Beast is doing it with Team C's and, and Team Trees last year. That's crazy to yeah. me. Like, there's so many things you can. So, Mr. Beast can sit here and say, like, yo, I care about the ocean. And I'd be like, yo, Mr. Beast cares about the ocean. But so can the person that donated $5. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I care about the ocean. What did you do in the last 12 months? Well, I had donated $5. And the fucked up part is that some people don't even want to say that because they're like, $5, that's it. Like, what have you done, mister? <laughs> you haven't done shit. Let's stop criticizing the nigga. If everybody just gave five dollars, the seas would be clean as fuck right about now. Facts. But you ain't give nothing. So anyway, I think just just people identifying the things they care about and then the things that they're actually willing to act on is like such a big distinction. How do you feel if someone's afraid of water? I am. You're afraid of water? Bro, if you put me in water I can't touch the floor in, then I'm panicking. Especially if I'm not anywhere near land. I'm immediately panicking. <laughs> So somebody just dropped you to the ocean. It's over. Oh, it's, I'm like, done. So I'm no, done no, no, no. So <laughs> I, if you if you got dropped in a ten foot pool, like I could float, but I'm low key panicking though. They go panic to the side. Yes, you talking about dropping him in the middle of water where the, the shore is not close enough for you to panic. And yes, swim. I'm panicking. It could oh, be, I, I was panicking. That I was panicking too. in the A and P pool when I dove in there. See, but panicking the pool is nuts to me. <laughs> But panicking in the middle of an ocean, <laughs> I can... Five, ten. <laughs> panicking. Yeah, you, pan, you panicking at, at, at 10 feet, that's kind of nuts. No, but I just... But panicking in the middle of the ocean, I can see how you panic in the middle of the ocean. Bro, one time I jumped in the A&P pool, and I, like, tried to... I wasn't panicking yet. I was trying to get to the top and shit. Oh. And then, and then, and then, I, and then I realized, because my feet were still on the floor, oh, I'm at the bottom of this pool, and I immediately started panicking. <laughs> <laughs> you was underwater? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> this nigga's walking at the bottom of the pool that can't swim. This is wild. I'm about to say, that's crazy. This is nuts. I don't been there. That's why I dove. I, dove. I know, swim. but why would you go to the bottom and you can't swim? <laughs> I don't know. I dove, nigga. I ended up in the bottom, you dog. Dove. Oh. You I dove. You dove. You dove. You you swam down. No, 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 no. Nigga, you're crazy. I did like a nigga. cannonball. You I just dope. ended up in there. Oh. You did a cannonball and just ended at the bottom. You didn't yeah. float back up? I tried to. <laughs> so hard. And so then you panicked mid-swim mid up. And you're the like, second ah. you said, <laughs> Exactly, yeah. 
Oh man, that's great. Speaking of panic attack, shout out to um Clicks Production, man. Hope you're doing well, man. What happened? He had a panic attack. Oh wow, he was in the hospital. Shout, shout out to you, man. Hope hope everything. Hope How you're do you know that? Well. He posted on Twitter. Oh okay. Yeah, if if, if he was private, I would not have. Seen <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I'm sorry to hear, man. I hope you're okay. Yeah, I want to crazy. Let me let me see if there's like any updates though. As I say that, um, but yeah, yeah. Shout out to um, Click Productions, man. Hope, hope you know, everything is I well. I saw man. Valkyrie. Ray. Um, she did a follow up stream after the stream we reacted to, and she was talking about how like depressed she was and how she's going through therapy. And um, I remember thinking to myself like PewDiePie said the same thing when he went in through his scandals. Philip DeFranco, when he had his scandal, is the same thing. It's interesting how, like... when he had it, scandals? Yeah. A lot of these guys had scandals. But it's like... I almost think it's inevitable to have one. What's, what's Philip DeFranco's scandal? I look, he can't say it due to this podcast. Oh. <laughs> but um, scandals happen in all forms, yeah, you feel for sure. me? And I think it's, like, it's so important to, like, just, you know, keep it a buck with yourself. I think my brain is fucked up. Why don't I get sad? I don't know, but he said, um, I, I don't get start, sad, bro. Click, Clicks Production sad. said, I randomly start neutral. having uh, panic attacks almost Isn't every you're day. So busy? Like your mind, don't give you oh, a time to fuck? feel sad. Hold on, wait, wait. What are you talking He said, Click Production said he, he started having panic attacks almost every day for the past two weeks. Then I couldn't feel my arm or legs for three to four days. Couldn't still move them. But yes, very scary. Oh, I, he said, I could still move them, but yes, very, still very scary. Went to the hospital on, uh, on Saturday. Blood work was good, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But he's, I think he's saying he's fine now. Um, since being told I was okay, these panic attacks have been personally, have personally helped me a lot more than they've hurt me. Yeah. yeah. He said they helped him more? Yeah, he said, he said they helped him more than they hurt him. <clears throat> How was that? I don't know. He said, I really, I really read, I really read that anymore, that... Contradicts uh, everything that I believe. Beyond, beyond, be, behind them is always negatives. Um, but here's what I mean: I'm a YouTuber, and I have the luxury to sit back for weeks with little worries in these circumstances. Despite YouTube being a big reason for my mental downfall, but life isn't fair. Your body doesn't, your body doesn't discriminate. Um, don't make excuses because you may not get a second chance like I did. And I may not get a third piece. This portion of the podcast is brought to you by BetterHelp. Man, agent, man, I've been stressing out recently, man. Oh, wow. What happened? I've been stressing, man. A lot of stuff on my plate, man. I just need to get a lot of things off my mind and unload, man. I, I just hold, need hold, someone hold, to talk to. Hold, hold that thought, Marcel. Okay. Because that's the whole purpose of BetterHelp, man. Oh, it's to wow. help connect wow. you with licensed professional therapists. So what? You know, you can get to talking in under 48 hours. 48 Facts. hours? 48 hours is true. Oh, my. That's not great, man, but I, I'm, I'm mad busy, though. Like, I need something that's, like, easy, accessible, and stuff like that. Well, like, that's great. BetterHelp is convenient. They, they have a broad range of expertise, and they're available worldwide, Marcel. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's mad convenient. I can just talk to anybody anytime. Indeed. Even if I just want to, like, type to them and stuff like that, or just... Correct. You can do all of that. What? Yes, can I do yes. it on my mobile devices? Of course you can, John. And, you know, not every therapist is going to fit your needs, so BetterHelp makes it easy for you to switch therapists if need be. Mm. On top of that, you can schedule weekly video or phone calls. So mm. no matter where you are, you have access to your therapist and they respond to you as soon as possible. And on top of all of that, BetterHelp is more affordable than traditional therapy and they have financial aid if you need it. So That's crazy. if you're curious, they have a whole bunch of testimonials on their website. We'll leave a link in the description. So you can visit BetterHelp.com slash peer. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P. And join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Wow. S special offer for peer-to-peer -peer listeners. Get 10% off your first month at BetterHelp.com slash peer. So stay blessed. Take care of your mental health, ladies and gentlemen. If you're interested, the link is in the description. Yeah, that's facts. I think he tried to, like, downplay himself, like... He, he downplayed it like he doesn't have stresses because of YouTube. I'd argue he has a lot of stresses. because, But you can't say things like that on Twitter because they're going to be like, well, but my job is harder. So, yeah, because it's fucking Twitter. I'm sorry to hear that. I'm glad he's through it. And if he's saying he was better for it, 
I think sometimes having something like crazy life threatening happen to you, like once you make it through that, your life kind of opens up. You like see things differently. Someone said you build a solid community, not just with your own subs, but with other creators. You you are not just going to fall off YouTube anytime soon. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Take your time for yourself because when your next video comes out, you are still going to have plenty of support. Uh, I don't think it is a clicks responding. I don't think I don't think I ever feared a falling off either. I just really feared not progressing. Ironically, ended up declining mentally because of it, which is it is true. Life is funny, and thank you for the support. It is true. Yeah. So that that's that is a okay. So I guess that kind of. Let you know he wasn't he wasn't in fear of falling off in fear of lack of progress, which is something. It's, that's a, that's a very interesting way to look at it. Yeah, I think. that's actually that's actually a very very interesting way to look at it, because I think that I think that he probably recognizes. Um, I think I think he probably recognized that he was probably getting at a point where. That there's probably some form of repetitive repetitiveness around it, and maybe he didn't know what was the next step. But um, oh my God, Peter! Yeah, well, yeah shout out, shout out to Clicks, man. Hopefully everything. Um, That's a great goes fucking well. guy, man. It's a nice fucking dude. Great guy, man. Great, um, amazing guy. You know, you know, Clicks. He had um, multiple panic panic attacks. And he was in the hospital. Yeah, actually, um, I had a similar not panic attack, but. Whoa, whoa, come here, whoa, come here. He's about to open up a bus and stuff. It's very interesting. No, not that. Mic, not that. Mic. mic on the floor. Pick, pick John, that turn mic. the levels up. There's two mics on the floor. The one Black with the one. blue tab next to it. Blue levels going up. Blue levels increasing. Blue levels increasing. Can we get a test, please? That's you. From, you. from you. What? Oh. Oh. No, from you. Can you test your mic? Yo. Can test. Me again. Say I. I. Ah. Ah. Why would you? You got a duck. Bro. It, you're not in Is it cameras. working or not? I'm trying to hear you. You're too high. You're pregnant with the frequencies. It's going nuts. Hold on. Let me correct this. It's going crazy. <laughs> I'm trying to say uh-huh. something for like five uh-huh. seconds, uh-huh. dude. Yeah. Hey, John, make sure you turn down the right mic. All right, go ahead, go, go ahead, go. Nah, right. basically... Uh, There's no way John didn't fuck something up this podcast. There just isn't, dog. <laughs> There's no way. Niggas praying on my downfall. <laughs> well, so what happened? What happened? Oh, um, I had a similar situation like a couple of years ago. Um, not with panic attacks, check. but with like like nerve damage, and it's from lack of sleep because I didn't have an editor at the time, and like went to LA with this guy, and yeah. I was just up all night editing every night, so I just didn't sleep for like four days. Like I slept probably four hours in four days, and then like, Jeez, man. yeah, is that when you crash your car? What are you What are you talking about? Oh, it was a different time. My bad. <laughs> what, is he, what are you talking about? <laughs> Why would you say that? <laughs> when did uh, I crash my car? You. Okay, I don't know. Can I actually answer that? What? No, why what would you, you say? What? Okay, my bad. Jesus. All right. Oh, man. Anyway, um, oh. I, think, I think that's interesting because I, I, I think there's a lot of um, content creators who kind of go, go through that, like in terms of like the Dude, fear of like... Uh, you know, Tristan Jass, uh, I remember a couple of years ago, he had a seizure. For real? Yeah. And they said it because was... Because of what, though? They, the doctors are saying because of stress. Man. Take some Kobe time off, it. dog. I always, every time I see hear stories, I'm like, how did Kobe do it? He just kept I going. Know. I don't know how he did it. He had an off season though. What do you think he did in the off season, low? You don't think he never took a break during the off season? No, he takes breaks when he's icing his body and he's right back in it. <laughs> you don't think he never took like a week off? Week, week no, break? this is the thing. Like people, and he, he never was, took no time. In like, Italy, oh, he would hoop. Right, in Italy, he'd come back. Oh, okay, all right. He always hooping. No, you don't think he, he had, took a week off? No, he didn't take no time off, dog. <laughs> All right, you let you you live with that. Uh but yeah, people just need it. Not nah, right, okay, hold on, hold on. Let me get put that put that mic to the floor. Yo, why would you toss the mic? I didn't toss. You're not it. Dave I just, Chappelle. I rolled it. No, you didn't. You might be broke. It. Hold on, <laughs> it's doing? going crazy. Decibels. Hold on. It's not a touch screen. Nobody believes that decibels get stop it touched on the screen like that. All right, we back at it. The mic may be dead, bro, because the I know the certain decibel. The oh, okay, the, yeah, yeah, that yeah. broke mic. You know what I mean? He broke the mic. I mean, broke mic. So. What am I to say? Um, I Kobe took a break. Jesus, okay. Go. I I bet he did. <laughs> yeah, I don't but, like breaks though. I went to Mexico like four months ago. I did not like it. 
Not that I didn't like it. I just rather have been here doing like what I used to do. I was there like, damn, yeah, the monkeys is cool. You know, the real creatures and the cool shit. That was, I was literally, it was just monkeys chilling and shit. Real well, cool. I, I, the food, great. Beaches, fine. I saw I kind of saw a clean beach for the first time in my life. Wow. Great but clean I, beach. I believe, I believe there's a difference between doing something that you are good at and doing something that you enjoy doing, right? And I think that, you know, you're, disagree, you're in a situation. Bro. No, what? I, I think you're in a situation I, where you, you, have, you have both. Well, I think there's a lot of people. Stop it. I, I, agree, I believe that's true. I believe there's a lot of people who are good at something, but that doesn't necessarily mean they enjoy doing it. I mean, there's, there's basketball players who, NBA player, NBA and NFL players who admit that all the time. Well, they're just, they're good at something, but that doesn't mean that they, they, they love to do it. That's true, but I think you can get, you can kind of incentivize. Bro, you get bored of something after a while. Let's say you're like in radio, right? Bro, you're not going to be passionate about radio your whole life. At a certain point, you're going to be tired of doing radio. But it's about like, okay, well, how do you still do the things you don't actively enjoy doing or you don't have a passion of? I didn't have a passion for my GM for four years. It was fun, I guess. For like, But the that's first- a subsection of creating content, though. I know, but that's all I did, though, for years. That's I know, all but, I did. But the, the overarching thing that you love to do while, per, um, while doing my GM was creating content, though. I guess, but I didn't do that, though. All I did was my GM for years you know, until I got to the top of my GM. Then I did more things. I pivoted. I did more things. But even right now. It's still all creating content, Like, I played though. 2K. Every time I get on 2K, I want to break a monitor. But we're not, but, but you've... But you've You've pivoted to where you're just not 2K though, so it's still con- you're still creating content in other capacities. No, but I'm saying I still make those same 2K videos. I still do it. So I, all that I'm trying to say is, I think um, the key to mental health. Now I could be wrong. It could be from my bubble, but I think it's building great systems so that you never get overwhelmed. Because I think you can build a tolerance to getting overwhelmed, and that's not by just pushing through it like dumb. You know, like I just lost my Apple Watch um, weeks ago and I was so fucking angry. I wasn't, let me not drag it. I was just, I was like, damn, that's inconvenient because I needed it to do a video and it was hard to get a new one because the new ones just dropped, right? So Apple just made it exclusive. So now I have a new system. There's only two places I'll ever leave my Apple Watch and that's why I never lose it. I know to look in those two places. All that to say, I do that in every aspect of my life when it's trying to find my keys. Uh, at what points do I record during the day? What I do from midnight to 3 a.m. before I sleep? Like, I have so many systems in place to make sure that everything that needs to be done gets done. And anytime something fucks up, let's say Waleed fucks up an editing mistake, I'll be like, all right, Waleed, what are we going to do to avoid that? Uh, let's say Waleed took too long to edit. I hired a new editor, and I was like, you guys tag team, cooperate on this. You cut it up while Waleed, like, works on this. Every problem I've ever had, I looked for a solution so the problem didn't exist anymore. And I was wrong a lot. But I think if you kind of treat, like, problems that way, then you have the potential. Why are you looking like that? No, we, me and John, we just... I, is that not true? John, I don't That's, know what's going on. Oh, it's, you know, I thought, you, I thought me and you would, like, both, like, on the same path of, like, some some of the problems that he's referring to that the solutions haven't been found out yet. Oh, but oh, I just, I was communication. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop yeah, 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 yeah. I just that's what I thought. Okay, we but hold on now. You know, you 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 know, I had to be. I, I tried to be suburban in our group message, and I asked like around 10, 10 a.m. I was like, I was like, hey, it's me, John. Just checking <laughs> in. Just want to know what time the podcast is. And no one said anything because it's the same fucking time, John. It's not the same. Fucking it's time. the same time. Yeah, you changed it afterwards. So you at the same time. He to me, to me, if know. none of y'all say nothing, it's the same time, bro. I thought it was always eight thirty. I know it was. No, you always push it to eight thirty. No, no, no. I thought it sometimes was if I don't say nothing, shit may change. You may be doing something and don't say nothing. I have to say something. Okay, look, the problem, the it, problem, brother John, is that I'm needed in like eighty different areas. That that's why I have to check but look, every look, time. Look, eight, right, peer to peer shit is the only thing that's not on my calendar. But look, oh in the name gosh. of trying to find, a, you hear that? Look, in the why name of trying to find the calendar, because you moved the date four hours before. I moved the date? Today, Uh-oh. today. when did you move the date from dun, eight? Dun, dun, dun. I'm sorry, when did you move the time? I don't want to say I moved the date. He's throwing it on you now. I blame on you. Say, God, today, I moved the whole date? Today at 5.45 p.m., we changed it from 8 to 8.30. Oh. So if I had it on my calendar, I'd have came at the wrong time. 
So anyway, all of that to say. So we gonna just have it at eight? I mean, we can have it at eight. I thought it was always yeah. At three. We, it was always known, and me and John knows at eight. <laughs> John don't know shit. <laughs> no, no, no. no I, had to, like, I had to. I text y'all at ten. I peep you. I, peep you. I, I don't know why that's suburban, but okay, I guess. You see how I said it? I said it a polite way, right? So later on, <laughs> like around what time? Five or six o'clock. I was like, I didn't got a response shit. I don't know. They could be because calling you not gonna work. So I, I, mm. dep- I depend on low and low. Le- you had, no, them, mm, the you let me down too, nigga. Yeah, you let I him said, down. You, didn't say you said it late. I asked you at ten. Cool. If I was making I'm, plans, I, I don't think I was up at ten Facts. o'clock in the morning. Hey, but look, it don't matter. You was up before. By the time you text me, you had enough time. In to the wake name up and of trying mm. to find solutions, the assistant that we end up hiring. We'll send calendar invites. I literally, if you look at my calendar right calendar now, invites. I don't need a calendar invite. I need it. <laughs> I need it. Tomorrow, I have a brand deal what? to do from a certain time to but a certain time. Have a, I have a video shoot for my main channel from a certain time to a certain time. But you're talking about changing the podcast. You told me to change the podcast for 30 minutes. Like, <laughs> Dad, just, you need to do a modification on the t- on the time. I know, table. but just put a subsection of uh, 8 to 9 30. No, but you move the time though. That's what I'm saying. If it's if you if you leave out 8 to 9 30, you would still be here at 8 30. Okay, but I'm here for 30 minutes doing nothing now. I guess, but that that's still not what we're talking. We're not talking about me being 30 minutes late. No, no, no. I'm saying if you're going to change the time, all this stuff could be done in calendars. And that's this this podcast is the only thing that I do that's not on my calendar. So I have to like actively remember, oh, what day is it today? Oh, Sunday? And honestly, most of the times I remember is because John texts in the fucking morning talking about something yeah, like, what's going dude, on with the podcast? That's what I do. I would not know it was podcast day unless John texted. That's what I said, you won't know. He'll be calling me. I'm like, yo, what's up, dude? You ready? He said, no, nah, I'm, I'm jet skiing right now. We're doing an AP shoot. I'll meet you back. <laughs> I'm like, you jet skiing? I, I was here watching movies with Lee's mom. Yeah, he watched a lot of movies with Willie's mom. Who is it for hours? I know. I know. I know. <laughs> Wait on you. No, 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 no. I'm watching. No, no. I'm watching. Last podcast was all Marcel. Huh? This nigga was When a, I say you niggas in between you two niggas. Yeah. Anyway. He, you know, he's talking about, he's talking about the AMP, the, the AMP show. That's what he's talking about. No, he's he talking about the movies was I'm last ta- I'm podcast. talking about any day. No, it was it's not. Anyway. The, anyway, movie, the anyway. movies the was. Peanut butter and he's No, jelly. no, no. The sandwich. movies on when we were shooting the AMP video. That's when that was. Because I was with you. Oh, it was both times then. It was both times. It was both times. Yeah, y'all had turns. That's what I'm saying. You the peanut butter, he the jelly. Anyway. Oh, no. Um, no, I'm not, nigga. <laughs> no, I'm the. Who was I'm, last I'm today? A, I'm Who was a, last today? I'm a cherry. He would last hey, today. PB&J? No, I'm a cherry on the ice cream sundae. I'm the cherry, and this nigga is the whipped cream and the ice cream. Stop it, bro. Stop whipped it. Whipped cream and the ice cream? Yes, that nigga is a whipped cream and the ice cream. Anyway. What that um, may be? The, the, the stem of the cherry? I guess. The banana. <laughs> the banana's on the banana split. I don't anyway. Wanna be, I don't want to be banana. Let's not digress. I, I don't want to be that um, food. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I'm... My mental, mental health? Yeah, mm-hmm. I think my brain is fucked up, like in a good way. Like, I don't feel... I don't me. I don't want to jinx it or nothing. Jinx doesn't exist. I don't know why I said that. My jinx? fault. My fault, guys. That is not a real thing. I just said that for for, for sport. But um, yeah, I just kind of work through things. And every time I even, so what are you gonna say? You don't. You know what? I don't feel sad. And you think every, that's a, but you think it's a good thing. It's a great thing. And every time I almost start to feel <laughs> sad, every time I almost start to feel sad, I immediately start thinking, "Damn!" Like I think about all the people who have it worse. And I immediately can't be sad. Like, it's not possible for me to be sad that my internet's down and people don't have internet all the time this somewhere in the world. a sociopath, dog. That's not sociopathic. That's, that's the opposite. S- that's quite literally empathy. You saying that you can't, feel, you can't be sad. No, I could be sad, but I just correct myself very quickly. Very quickly. So what happens if, like, something dire happens? I'll, I'll just walk myself through it logically. What's the best course of action? How do I feel about this? No, I mean, like, but you can't change it. It's just, like, it happened. Like what? Like death. Well, well, I, I'm Muslim, so I believe that, like, there's another life. So if someone gets packed up from this life, it's not over for them type shit. I know, but, you, but you're you not going to feel sad? I feel sad I never get to see him until I die. I, I get that, but, you, but you're saying... Well, I'm saying it sounds like you're saying even if somebody gets packed up, you're going to be like, but now that I really think about it, dog, like eight other people just passed away too, so I'll be straight. That's what it sounds like you're nah, saying. That's that's like... I, I I might say like there's worse ways they could have passed away. You know what I'm saying? What? <laughs> it's worse ways. That's true. It went out easy. I, got, I guess it's true, but why... But why why is that a deep... That's quick. not a good... I don't think that's a good thing. I don't think that's a good thing. No, why do you say that? Quick. It was quick. Pain yeah, was... that's that's like yeah, that's you say if somebody got packed up, you can be like, man, I wanna miss them. 
Well, at least he didn't suffer too no, I'd, much. No, I'd say, I, I, this is me. My, it depends who it is. Like, if it's a friend, I'd be like, that's very sad. Especially if they had like, if they were younger, because they didn't get a chance to experience oh, all that just life. Us, one all of that us. life was. But one then, of us. Okay, that's very oh, Jesus, dude. Well, I'll be. You set. said friend, so I'm one okay. of us. Yeah, but we're best friends, though. We're not. Come on, dog. Why are you doing that? Why I said doing... one of us. It can be anyone from. Me, Willie, John, or oh. or Kai, Real Phantom, or Davis. Best friends closet. Yeah, true. And I mm. haven't done that yet. That's not you. Well, nah. say it, or it can be or Peter. It can be no, Kai. But, it can be so, like, one I'll of us. I'll probably be sad for a little bit, and then I would immediately like. For example, when you moved out, I was I was more happy that it happened than sad that you left. I'm not talking about moving. I'm talking about you never Wait, seeing you me said, again. You said you were so you more happy that it happened than mad that he moved out. Yeah. So I'd be like, wow, like. So if you pass away, I'd be like, man, he lived a great life. He did a lot in his short time here. Uh, I would, <laughs> That's crazy. I would immediately start thinking about, like, how it affects, like, your family, uh, <laughs> especially because... You can say... <laughs> So That's that crazy. But why do I have to like spiral into like a negative? I'm not saying you have to. Who knows? Like I literally I didn't might say spiral. I literally I'm... might. But so a lot of people do though. I know. But I'm, not, like... I'm not. I'm not saying spiral. <laughs> the way you're framing it is like, I'll I'll be mad. I'll be sad for like like a minute or two, and then I'll no, think no, no, about no, no. something Probably else. for like a few days. It'll, it'll be oh, all I can okay. think about, and then I'll and then I'll start to see it in like 18 different other perspectives, which are some of the ones I just explained to you. Yeah. And then it would help me work through it. And then I'll be like, man, so hold on, let's look at the positives. I got a chance to experience him. Like, not like a lot of people online yeah. did, but like, I live with this guy, man. What the fuck? He was a great human being. <laughs> he did a lot of good in the world. You know, say, I start looking at all the positive things. For sure. For and then sure, I, sure. I know that this is not the only life. So I'm not going to get, back. I'm not going to be overly, cons- like, I'm not going to. going to meet him again. So I just do my prayers, man. I, b- I wish the best. Uh, and then. Well, I'm going to be sad. <laughs> well, me, that's what I said, but I just correct it, though. I'm gonna be sad. Listen, yeah, I'm gonna see you again in the form of a grasshopper. Hello. <laughs> in the form of a uh, grasshopper. Speaking, no, of, speaking like of, of speaking of which, here's, here's one of them right here. Use... Hey, Dean Dean actively said like, if you go, man, like he'll be sad for like it's a can full of seconds, and he'll logically talk himself through him being sad anymore. If I. Go? Yeah, pack up like oh, for, pack forever, up. like on a life. Yeah, you're lying. What? He's gonna be sad for days, right? I never, I never said you. I said low. Low was a hypothetical. That's tough. <laughs> but hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. But he's, but he tried, tried to logically walk through like losing yeah, someone. Gonna process I, that you're I, going? I literally only have one question. Who would you be more sad if one of us unallowed me or low? What? That's such a crazy question. Yeah, nah, I just, I just want to know. <laughs> Like, no, 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 no. Like, like, oh, no, 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 no. I want, a, I want, a, I want a legitimate number. If low unalived, how many days would it take you to record another YouTube video or me? What? I'm not gonna answer like, that question. Are you gonna wait? Are you like, are you gonna like, 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 post it? No, hold on. You, are you gonna post a tweet and then like wait three days or I'm like? You're not posting tweets if one of you upload the same day. If it's a bank, like, you got a bank. Like, let's say it's December. It's the first 2K 23 video. You got it edited and done. Do you wait and you know what I say? All the other YouTubers are gonna drop it. You're gonna wait three days, but you're guaranteed five million views. Five million, five mil first day, guaranteed. You got now the first Ronnie, two days. You got Ronnie fist fighting. You got the limited yeah, edition with Brody and man. LeBron and on the same so team. So my funeral goes get a drop of bangers and that's <laughs> nigga dog. Niggas. How many days by number? For niggas come in late. Oh, you know what's so crazy? Yeah. Talking about, I would actually expect that out of this nigga. If he showed up late to my funeral, he's like, I had to go drop that banger, dog. <laughs> <laughs> he told Omar I had to drop a banger. <laughs> oh my god, had to drop before the crowd. He said, didn't know it's about to be a trend. Money, huh? <laughs> it's about, hey. to, it's hey. about to be a trend. How, how long would you wait to buy another car with like his half of the peer to peer money? I'm not spending his half of the money. Oh, I'll go to his family. Oh, true, true, true. Yeah. I'm glad we get some sort of answer. At least you give one answer. That's a demon right there, there man. Go to the door. Go to the door. Go to the Yo, me said it. Crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Mom and waiting for that settlement. <laughs> then he gets a new inmate. He gets a new inmate, BM Mercedes. Ah, shit. That's fucking That's wild. Crazy. You see him pull, pull up past the family. Hope all is well. <laughs> Hope my car didn't startle you. 
Ride around that low. Ride around that low. Ride around that low rider. If that nigga bought a fucking, if that nigga bought a Urus with a a, a license plate that said low on the back of it, you said low. (laughs) In memory of low, man. This is Low's half of the money. Dub in the the back. Long live low. Long live low the license plate. Nah, who knows? That literally it's might crazy. not be how I react. I don't know. I just hope that it oh, would be because shit. any tragedy thing that's happened to me so far, I just kind of worked through it. That's fucking crazy. But hey, man, it's like, I think everyone kind of just deals with things differently. I think the worst thing you could do is just not deal with it and like keep pushing it like in the future. And sure. you just having to re, like now you got the symptoms just it's forever because you don't want to take the time to deal with it. Like for example, like procrastination. Like if procrastination is ruining your life, bro, just for a moment, stop. Like, why? Answer why you're procrastinating. The same thing with weight loss. The second I realize I eat when I'm bored, why am I eating so much? Why? Why? What is the reason? Why? The second I identified it was boredom and it happens at 3 a.m. when I finished everything I need to do and f- like food makes you feel great, then I immediately just started to occupy my time. And it's harder said than done, 100%, but like you have to kind of logically think through some issues. You said it's harder said than done? It's harder, harder done than said. No, it's harder said than done. Easier said than done. Oh, easier said than done. Easier said. Oh, than you're right. I don't know what low talk about. You, you said, said I, 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 I double down on the harder. <laughs> yeah, easier you said. Easier said than dirt. done. But no, you, you, you still. Say, it's, we're saying the same thing. Harder <laughs> done than said. What? Nobody says that. I know what I'm saying. Harder said than done. done. But it's the same thing. It's the same thing. No, I've if never. Something's heard. harder to say than do. No, no. I said. I said. I said. Harder done than said. Yeah, you go ahead and build that car back there. It's harder said than done. <laughs> Have it up by eight. <laughs> With oil change. <laughs> oh, nah, bro. Oh, we can talk about the Britney Renner thing here since we can't upload that video. Oh, yeah, we can. Yeah. You a bitch. Whore? Slut? You going with that? Just right there? Just, just straight into it like that? Look, um. One more. Brittany Renner is literally one of the dumbest people on the fucking internet, I swear. And she just thinks that everybody is going to fucking... Hold on, free. Hold on, stop the top. Put the top. <laughs> what? What the top. She thinks that people are going to fall for the shenanigans, and we're just not, nigga. <laughs> She's literally one... She literally is trying to convince <laughs> us... Wait, John, did you see that interview? Go to the top. Shenanig- she shenanigans. Did you see? Did you see the interview? <laughs> did you see the interview, nigga? In the interview, she literally said, you're better off with me in your life than, than I am with you. Like, I'm a positive in your life. She was saying that referring to a multimillionaire, bro. And she's going around, sucked and slurped on multiple other penises. And there's nothing in her life that, she, that she's going to provide to this nigga outside of the same thing that every other woman can, can like, provide, which is just loyalty, dick sucking, and back rubs. So, like, that's all she literally said, bro. And she claims that because it's good karma to have her in, in your life. <laughs> LSB. What is that? Loyalty, sucking, and back rubs. All right, guys. LSB. <laughs> now, you I need think... You need to get your girl to give you LSB. I think the problem... See, what she's doing is misdiagnosing her issues. Yes. Uh, I think she has misdiagnosed her issues and found that the solution is, unfortunately, fake spirituality. So I genuinely believe that she believes that about herself. She believes she would be better for him. And Which is nuts. Even though logically that doesn't connect with anybody else, like she feels like she's made progress spiritually, so she believes in all of those things. If you ask her what her moon sign is, she would tell you in two seconds flat. I'm confident of that. I just think some people just don't know themselves well enough or the people around them. How? He just made it to the NBA. Hot prospect. Where was he in Kentucky? Yeah. Like how would he? Like he could do what? You, like what you do it for him? He could find it anywhere. And I'm pretty sure he is. I'm pretty sure someone said someone in the comments said he was dating an IG model right now. Yeah, he dated another. He one. just Who found is? another one of you, PJ, PJ Washington. Washington. He dated another one. Yep. So you can't even feel bad for that guy. Yeah, that nigga's retarded. Oh, let's be clear. He's dumb. He's fucking dumb. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, he's dumb. But I also, see, let me just... see something different in this one. <laughs> no. Yeah, different ass, this one, maybe. This one has some more motherly qualities he yeah, likes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. probably told him something different. I'm nothing like Renner. Well, let me, well, let's, let me also be clear as well. because she ain't write a book yet. She, she misdiagnosed everything, and academics allowed her to get off, like, shifting the narrative and the, and the argument that people were having. Hey, careful. You're YRG. About... Rage was saying academics killed that pod. That pod. No, he 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 allowed her to shift the conversation way too much. Hold on, you're YRG now. Because she was literally academics invited race to the pod. 
Okay, I'm just all right, that's fine, but I'm just I'm this is what I'm saying. Don't get kicked out. This is what I'm saying. Wait, so she, she she was trying to make it seem as if like the reason why she was being labeled a predator is solely because of age. Now that was one of the reasons why. However, at the end of the day, PJ Washington was of age. So we can't rely too much on the age argument. The reason why people were claiming that you were a predator though is because you were using predatorial tactics for a wealthy man or a rich person to try to utilize your sex appeal to make the or receive money from him. That's the reason why seduction. You, you literally you literally made a video explaining to women how easy it is to get a lick off of athletes because they're dumb. That is literally that's 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 literally predatorial tactics. I guess it's informative tactics too, because any basketball player had the opportunity to see to that learn thing. that. Oh, <laughs> for sure. I'm, and I'm not saying it's not. I'm, so it I'm both not. Ways. I'm not saying it go both ways. <laughs> but it's still it's still no, pred, it's still predatorial for you to say that and then actively pursue and seek someone who's an athlete. Like that's what what are we even saying right now? And matter of fact, the only people that we've visibly seen you date have been athletes and entertainers. And you that's literally what you said, that they're all dumb because you can get a check off of them because they don't use protection and you can easily have their che- their, their kids. You said that. Crazy because they should be the ones using the most protection. They should have 19 condoms on. It's just crazy. NBA should have a condom sponsorship. Yeah. All sports should have a condom sponsorship. <laughs> they should, dead ass. Trojan should dead ass be the sponsor, the face of fucking NBA, no cap. I'll save a lot of NBA babies. A lot. But yeah. I, I say all that to say, they like, bro, like it's not, people, par- partially is because of the age differential. Because we're talking about someone who was in college, just graduated high school, and you were already seeking him out while he was in college. But more importantly, you openly admitted to seducing your way to multimillionaires, in particular athletes and entertainers, because you view them as being dumb and you can get a check off of them. Why do you, I know, even if that's not what you claim, even if, hypothetically speaking, you really were in love with him and y'all really was trying to grow something and you, like, hypothetically, you can't ask or wonder why. She said that. Huh? She said that. Yeah, she said they were really in love. It was real. They were really going to get married. It was really going to grow. And then what happened? She kept. She kept. I didn't watch the interview, but I really she don't. she kept referring to like does does that sound like a oops baby? His name is PJ or whatever. He's he's a he's a third. The the child is a third. So I think it's like PJ, Paul Paul whatever Washington PJ Washington the third. Yeah, the third. Yeah. Like, does that sound like a oops baby? Like she tried to like really hammer it in. Like, but it's like I mean okay Wait, so okay. What do we? Did someone say he cheated? What happened? She yeah. never, she never alluded to why they broke up. Even academics said like, "Oh, did she dodged the question multiple times. She dodged, she dodged several questions multiple times, and all she said was, "He just wasn't a great partner." That's what she said. So she kind of laid the blame on him. Hey, at the end of the day, bro. Oh, and um, they even asked like, "Why is it? Why is it he's going around like social media and Twitter like saying like I can't see my child?" She's like, "I don't know," which is cat. Would you ever just randomly tweet that while your child's right beside you that you could see whenever you want to? Yes, I don't know. But hey, um, so what did she say basically? Well, I just told you. Just she basically said. deflected. She argued he gained more, and somehow, and that she uh, is was great for him. Like she was. She basically argued she I'm was not a prize. Lie. She did argue she was a prize to I'm a multi millionaire. She did NBA bring attention to his name. He was already unless you watch basketball. Because I'm not, I, I'm not gonna cap. I didn't know who he was. But what does that do for him, though? I mean, it made me want to check out his highlights. I'm like, who is this guy? When is he? But fired? what does that do? for He doesn't him? have no highlights. Well, he has highlights, but you not, in, not in the NBA. He doesn't. Not many. Yes, he does. What? But okay. I, I'm wanna... not. I'm not gonna give him my no, no, NBA no. soapbox. <laughs> no, no, no. I heard he's nice. Though. I heard he's nice. He's um, decent. But... He has potential. Yeah, but but that doesn't do anything I'm just for saying him. Though. From the how next I contract, heard of him. he the next contract he get isn't going to be because. His fucking highlight reel of twenty twenty two got a million views on it. Like that's not that's not why I would he's argue that it did worse for him. Yeah, it actually might be worse. Yeah, I, if I was the coach and I was like, damn, like you're getting in all this drama off the court. Like you had to be producing on the court to be able to do that. You can't just have drama off the court and be irrelevant on the basketball court. They're gonna pack you out the league so quickly. It's not good for him. 
Uh, it might be good for like that more people know him, but the nigga does not have a YouTube channel, so yeah. he can't even like take <laughs> advantage of that. Blog channel for that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he can't really say anything because not only has a he, he's part of a brand that's trying to be as positive as possible. So it's not like he can just go out there and be like slandering Brittany Renner. He he can't do that either. So it's like yeah, PJ Washington is promising, but he ain't that promising. Like he can't. He's not like he not, he's not, he's not like Kevin ball. Durant can say anything he wants to at this point. And they be like, right, just go out there and give us 30, KD. <laughs> like, that's, that's all. Like, go that, PJ Washington ain't down that level. Go out there and give us 30, PJ? Yeah, he, 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 he ain't on that level. No, no, no. He not on that five, level. PJ? Yeah. Yeah. Um, she's like, she's a bad person. And it's obvious. And she she's not... F- She's not tricking me her fake spirituality. Fake spirituality is so corny. People, I think, just kind of do that so that they can, so like, for their own mental health. Yeah. Like, they'll just pretend like they believe in something because it gives their life some direction and some orientation. So you think there's no truth in what she said? At all. Zero. There's no, no- I'm not, not going to say zero because there was also a portion. Now, let you know, she also said that, like, in the, in the beginning, she was saying, like, well, why, why men can't be held accountable why is it that we can't sit here and just say, like, yo, he participated in this because it takes two to have a child. He's the one who DM'd me. He's the one who told me to come live with him. He's the one who also oh, took so off the condom and da da Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And, and, and so she, in those cases, she, she's right outside of, like, why can't we hold men accountable? I would argue in many of these situations, men are held accountable first before we even get to the woman. But he, he paid away for her to just... He was held accountable legally because... Um, now he has to pay child support unless... Well, she's definitely going to put him on child support. Um, oh, yeah, that was the other thing that she said. I, I, he's not on child support. And, and, was like, and he was held accountably yet, okay. in the court of public opinion because, like, everybody's dragging him, men and women alike. Like, that's... She, the fact that she made a book and you still went out there and made the mistake is hilarious. The that's only loop... That's bad. That's bad right there. Yeah. And, and people were holding him accountable before they even broke up. Like, just as soon as they... If you, if you just type in PJ Washington... Um, Brittany Renner pregnant before they broke up. Just her getting pregnant. When the news dropped that she got pregnant, go look on Twitter, bro. Go go search it up on Twitter right now and see what people are saying. It ain't congratulations, PJ. It's a bunch of niggas slandering that man, bro. How could you get her pregnant? That's not you already know what she about to do. She wrote a whole book. It's a whole bunch That's of bad. negative things. Yeah, it's like um, yeah. At the end of the day, boss, it's so hard to comment on this because. None of it matters except that the child is just being used as a pawn. That's the worst part about this. If he continuously signs up for these arrangements where people don't see nothing to him except his financial value, then that's the result he will continue to get. And if she continues to just fuck with people for the same reason she was fucking with PJ, then she's going to continue to have like empty relationships and be devoid of all meaning and pretend like go through this whole fake spiritual journey. And she, you know what she said on that podcast, bro? She said she believes in divine timing. So she just had the baby because she believed in divine timing. Dog. No, she said the opposite to, to him. She said that I wasn't trying to rush it. I wasn't trying to like really get into it. I really wasn't trying to do all that. He was the one who was saying, I told him I can wait. I believe in divine timing. Yeah, it's like he, so PJ supposed to believe in divine timing. He's gonna see his child that he apparently can't see. Tough. PJ wanted the baby. Apparently, they both did. They both wanted it, but she's saying that he was the one he who pushed initiated it. and pushed the conversation. And to look, have the child. maybe that's true. It, it probably is true. That's a weird thing to lie about. But anyway, all of that to say, but like, but that was your the child is gonna goal, have to though. grow up, bro, yeah, and that is see like the PJ. parents. Like she wrote a book. It's like. I mean, I could tell if you didn't know about her, but she had a. Book. And you know what the fuck the most? You know what the most fucked up part about that podcast is, John, is that in the in the podcast, if you didn't know nothing about the child, you knew more about him afterwards because she named him first, middle, and last name. So, so when he grows up, is readily he's the most readily identifiable. Uh, then he he's named after his dad. So, but she said his whole legal and everything. Like, why? That kid's going to have to be in preschool. God forbid they find... Does she have OnlyFans? I don't know. Her IG. I'm pretty sure she does. They're going to clown him. That's <laughs> a tough scene, dog. And then, but then I was, I was in a it room... Was a mistake, baby. Oh, man. I was, I was, mistake, in, I was in a... I, I Your was in mistake. A, <laughs> That's what they're going to call him. Things like that. These are kids, but they're evil. Hey, you know, so I was in a room where someone was trying to argue. Um, <laughs> even, even like, it's, it's, not, it's not that big of a deal 
to raise a child like by by herself and stuff like that because she has money and it's like man y'all niggas. Niggas have accident. S- Where you at? Y'all niggas have such a <laughs> warped mentality of like. Accident come out now. We're done. We're I'll done f- counting. Y'all, y'all have such a warped mentality. Can you imagine of like health class, reading. bro. Him in health class is gonna be keys, dog. You know, I don't know if y'all have a health class, but they teach you how to like put so on I a want, condom. All you guys to, yeah, yeah. I want you guys, all you guys, to rinse out your white substances down the drain. Do you like mistake should have been? <laughs> rinse down the drain. Stop it, PJ. That's not funny. We're joking, but it is going to be sad. It's going to be that a, a that. These amino acids are not supposed to be here. Like mistake. <laughs> uh, Stop uh, it, Gerald. Yo, it's I not was, funny. I was, I was in a Twitter space, and like, there's so many people like with this idea of like raising children like by single parents. And I was like, well, why is that like... Why are y'all niggas fighting for that right now? Why y'all? Why y'all actively trying to like make it okay that a thing like one one person can raise a child? I just I never I, I never I don't understand why so many people go to bat for that. Are there great outcomes from single parenthood? Yes, but overwhelmingly, like overwhelmingly, there are negative circumstances to raising a child. What would be the motive? One, I have no idea because and it was people legit trying to defend like it's not it's not that big of a deal and it's like. It clearly is, and not only that, from everything that we've seen, like they're legit concerned about who's raising that child because either PJ Washington is going to raise it, but we already can tell his decision making is fuck, and then fucking Brittany Renner's going to raise it. Then it's like, all right, if Brittany Renner's raising a child, the way that she even discuss how she interacts with men, especially the level of frequency she interacts with men. And then on top of all of that, how like how she just interprets relationships and how she just communicates with people is like, I don't even know how anyone can even make the argument that either one of them are capable of raising a child on their own right now. None of it made any sense to me. What are you laughing about, John? She went to Joe Budden podcast and was like, yeah, Joe, like we, we was trying to talk one time. And then Joe was like, yeah, yeah, you know, I didn't know what was going on. She's like, yeah, I was disappointed. And then Joe's like, Oh, you trying to fuck? He was like, yep. Who? Joe Budden said this is Brittany Renner. Oh, all right. You trying to fuck Brittany Renner? No, Brittany Renner was trying to fuck Joe Budden. And then she said she was disappointed because Budden never pushed and approached her in that, in that manner. Smart man. Smart man. Now I just laughed. I seen something. Why Carol Osiris got a new haircut. I guess he was going Who? for the... YK Osiris? I thought you said white girl Osiris. I was like, I ain't never heard no, that. No, YK Osiris, he got a new haircut. <laughs> like the suburban Miley like Cyrus? Like I, don't, I don't know what he looks like. I'm not going to lie, bro. You don't know YK Osiris? I mean, I heard a couple No, no, no. Okay. You never heard that before? I mean, I heard no, a No, no, no. No, what is the song? Because that is how you sound. <laughs> that. Again, you the world, world, baby girl. girl. You, you just gotta, gotta be worth it. Nah, nah, nah. Yeah, that nigga. Yeah, you know. You know what it is. Yeah, Him having I've a Drake a part songs, is nasty, man. actually. He has a Drake part. You know the heart? Mm-hmm. But the barber did put a heart. <laughs> 21 Savage said, that ain't a heart, bro. That's Mickey Mouse ears. And now you can't unsee it. It's like Mickey Mouse peeking behind his airline. Like he's trying to hide, but his ear is just right above uh, the garbage can. It's on Twitter, right? No, it's on Instagram. She, um... Damn. Anyway, man. Like... Oh. You no, got no, I, 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 I got you. It's already loaded up. I got actually, you. I can see it from here, actually. No, That's you nice. Can't. I'm actually, I can't. I can't. I'm about to get you. I can't. Jesus Christ. Great catch. Let me see that. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you. This is like either two half subs. Why didn't they why didn't they let the why didn't they let the end of it like me? Why would they do that? I think he does this shit on purpose, bro. I know nigga paid more than 400 for that cut, too. Nigga, it's only paying 400 for this. It's crazy. Cut. It's crazy. They gave that boy the Bud Light Ear Milan Stitch Special. That looks so disgusting. What the they fuck? They got to grow back in. That does need to grow back in ASAP. That nigga need, need, need to put some, uh, what's that, black shit? Oh, Beijing? Yeah, they need to put some Beijing to cover that shit up, dog. That shit like pair of lips that are sticking out <laughs> trying to kiss, <laughs> kiss his waves. That's disgusting, though. I don't see that no more. I'm going to fuck this up. No cap. I'm going to fuck it up. Hey. Great catch, John. You should be a wide receiver. I catched it. 
Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I got them hands for show ski. So what's your what's your end resolve on this Brittany Renner uh, stuff? I think the lesson is that you should learn more about the people that you're taking seriously in your life. Facts. And when they tell you information about them, don't lie to yourself about what they just told you. Because I think a lot of people do that. They kind of see things through their scope and they filter it through their own little biases. Well, she sucked dick well. So... But it's like, damn, dog, when you can end up with a bad result, my brother, don't let that cloud your judgment. Like, she'll... <laughs> that's crazy. She'll tell you who she is, bro. You just have to pay attention, man. But that's crazy if, like, you like, if niggas is like, bro, she been, she fucked and sucked so many niggas, bro. And you're like, does that mean she know how to suck my dick good, dog? <laughs> See, that's, that, that's, that's a tough pill to swallow. Because that's true. Wait, John, stop. No, John, stop. That's what? hard to accept. Like, that's what he said is true, but I ain't trying to hear that shit. John. Like, she sucked 30 dicks. That's a lot. Like, that means she probably really good at sucking that's 30 she, dicks. You know, so ironic, she said she only been with 30 dudes. That's full oh, really? cap. I know regular. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Jack. Uh, like, I, I, I oh, didn't really? say 30 out of nowhere. Um, I never seen the, the uh, interview. Stop yeah, she it. said she said oh, she's wow. only been with 30 guys. So if you multiply that by five, then <laughs> you get the real amount. Why does she lie about stuff like that? She, she What's the purpose? It's 30. It's 30 a lot for someone's that 26. A, that's a good amount. Bro, if be, you went to college, 30 is not that much. For, I mean, for 26. She's 26. I mean, 30, and it could be multiple offenders where she has people that she just. Fucks over and over. Oh, maybe it's true. It's not knows. associated with. But do you, is that is that a, is that too high 30, or too low? 30, 30 is really a good amount. What? 30, 30 is a lot. Is a lot. But I mean, that's not super crazy. I, no, anything it's not. over fifty. But anything I think, over forty five is ridiculous. Thirty. That's thirty is getting up there for me. Though. There. I ain't gonna hold you. Thirty is like I, I would have to. I need to understand how it got to 30. 30 is kind of up there. Yeah, that's it's up there. You need to understand how it yeah, got to 30. Like, <laughs> like, how did we get to 30? 10 to 15, depending on when you started and how your relationship was. Because some girls been in long-term relationships. So there may be in two or three long-term relationships. So that time gap is going to be smaller because yeah. they was only fucking with one person. Supposedly. But think, cause think about it, 30? Supposedly. No, just pause and think about it for a second. <laughs> She's lying, guys. I know, but this unless she didn't go to no but, parties but, but, growing up, but yeah. it's not true. But though. Paul, but Paul, think was for a second. From eighteen to twenty six, it's only an eight year gap. It's only an eight year run that's of thirty a, men in eight years. She's that's not, actually a lot. That's I'll tell you. That's knows? a lot. No, it's not. Okay, look, I it's didn't thirty dudes in eight but years. Girls have more access to to get. They want. Yes. I, I, I understand that, so and I and I believe it's in more. Thirty years is two hundred sixty five days. Bro, 30 and eight, eight, eight years is a lot, bro. You have to think, dog. Like, the average years? person but, goes to, like, college now, right? And ooh, the average person goes to is. college parties. I used to have, like, friends who were not that good looking go, and they would fuck every time, bro. Every time. Who they fuck? That's what I was Women saying. that's you there. Can, you got to put a consideration. Every day, or you can do that daily. She could have been lit. If, if she just went to enough too. parties... Trust me, that number's in the hundreds. But, like, at the end of the day, I, I couldn't give less of a fuck about But she just has incentive to lie, though. If yeah. she, if her number was actually 300, she would just wouldn't say that. Three, 300, 300 would be crazy. crazy. 300, 300, 300 is crazy. So even throw that out. That's, <laughs> porn stars don't even have those numbers. 300 <laughs> is so crazy. That's crazy. Where I wouldn't even, like, I wouldn't even just, I, I wouldn't believe you say that. I wouldn't believe you. I wouldn't, <laughs> actually, I wouldn't believe you either. I would I'd be like, that's not 300. You know, the only, the only person who would admit to 300 is, like, one of them pickup artists. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 300 is so crazy where it's like, I actually, even though I think you've had sex with a lot of people, I still don't believe it. You know, do, you think, think, do you think it takes self-control as a good-looking woman to not, like, fuck everybody? Because they want to fuck I you. Dis- I disagree. I'm asking. It's a oh, question. Because it's like, it may be some people, they want to fuck, so they fuck them. And it may be some people that just have W riz, and they get it out of them. I think I think get it out of them. <laughs> I don't, because, because the reality is, if you're a good-looking girl, you should know... You would know your. You would already know your value in the marketplace. So Depends, you could be <laughs> down bad. He's so not, he's not trolling, but I, know, I, right. I understand what he's saying. But well, but well, understand, understand. But what I'm, the point I'm making though is that if you are a good looking girl, you already know for a fact. Like you are, you already know your value in the marketplace and the dating marketplace. So you're not going to sit here and just fuck, even though you could theoretically. You're still not going to because it's not like you are desperately trying to like. Find it and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you're not fucking believing this is the last time you're gonna fuck. You or, think about like, you know what I'm saying? Though. 
it's a lot of girls that were bad, but until they got on Instagram, but they realized how bad, bad they really she, were. And but she's been bad you know what I, in all of existence of Instagram because she's like she's twenty six, so. Instagram been along for like her, what six her, eight years? Uh, younger pictures. Yo, yeah, I'm starting to realize that like what? Huh? You talking about younger like twenty years old? Yes. Not, not twenty six. <laughs> not, not that. Young. I know what you were saying. You I, got you. I got you. I got you. I got you. Um, no now nah, because I was like so look, seeing women or seeing anybody really go from IG to real life is like. So I don't even assume the shit that people post on IG is them in real life no more. For sure. So when I see someone in real life and they still look really good, like that's highly impressive to me. Like, wow, what the fuck? Like, you look incredible, even without makeup and heels and all that bullshit that, you know what I'm saying, people throw on. Yeah, we, 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 we need another trick on him, bro. But I imagine that it'd be hard to, like, not fuck, like, all the time. You know what I'm saying? Because like as a man, you actually have to unless you're but like top five percent. You is. have to try, dog. Like there's not many women that you you have to make an attempt. Women? You got to go out on a date or two at least. You know what, men? Men have, men, to, right men have to try unless they're like yeah, yeah, top top five percent. I'm just talking about to like to have sex. That's you got to think about. about a girl gets approached by every person, ugly, good looking, in the middle. But if she if she's <laughs> ugly. If she if he if but he's she still ugly, approach. I know. Um, but if he's ugly, that doesn't mean that she she's gonna be like, oh, I can I, I can fuck, but like she's not going to because she's still not attracted to. I'm him. saying out of a hundred people that approach her, say a girl gets approached a hundred times through social media in person in a week. Okay. She can hit probably three or four out of them. Yeah, hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Only three? I, no, I'm just saying if she, in a week uh, that's crazy. Oh, but in a week. I'm it's saying yeah, if is... she gets approached. Between all social media and in person, a hundred interactions. Out of those hundred interactions, she's gonna break. I saw her. unless she's already in a committed relationship, or she just super celibate. But super out of those, celibate. Super celibate. Super celibate. That different than regular you know celibate. I feel like with a girl in her <laughs> like her twenties or something that wasn't a celibate a couple years ago, a couple months ago. I mean, they just giving that pussy a break. Yeah, sometimes it happens. Yeah. Um, I'm just celibate now. Nah, you just tired of fucking. You've been fucking a lot, huh? You have. That's that's the line you give him? Huh? Is that the line you give him? I know I, I wouldn't joke with anybody like that. Yeah, that'd be mad. crazy. Why do I like, you've been fucking a lot, huh? <laughs> celibate? Okay. That shit wore out, huh? That thing wore out, out now. That wore out, but beat the brakes on that, huh? I just, I don't know. I just feel like. Oh, the rotors off that pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think it takes that much. I just I don't I don't think it is because it it would it would take that much dedication if she was bad and then a whole bunch of rich niggas was hitting her up because at that point she would have something to benefit she can just be like I can fuck them and then get money off it too yeah. that I would be more impressed by that but than just I'm just not fucking as much as I possibly could because you don't even know you don't know these men there's no incentive behind it outside of you just having sex and on top of that you could technically speaking. <laughs> Find a dude that you're actually attracted to who's attracted to you because you're bad and just fuck him anyway. So what is it like? There's no yeah. real every every time I went there. like outside um w- with a girl and I left her alone for like bro, like two minutes. Somebody's like sit by the bench, start talking to her. Do you remember there's one time where I was I was on a I guess you call it a date, I was on a date with somebody. And then out of nowhere, Lo hit me up. It was like, yo, now would be the perfect time to shoot. Uh, I think it was a, it was one of our public interview videos for playback and some Patreon content. So I was like, damn, I'm with somebody right now. I'm just going to ask her if she wants to come. And, she, and Lo was like, all right, bet. So we pull up. I remember she came with me. And we were just shooting shit. And she was like in and around the mall. Bro, every time I looked in her direction, there was another person talking to her. That's what I'm saying. Every time. It's a new person, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, girls getting tempted. I say you have a... Tr- they getting tempted, and then y'all think about it a hundred times is not a lot. Some are getting more than that. When you think about interactions in a whole week span, I get that, John. But her turning down a broke, ugly nigga, they that's still not, fuck them. I know, but no, but no, what I'm saying, but what, but what <laughs> I'm saying, said, I, what I'm saying is, I'm not like that's not. I don't, <laughs> I don't, I don't think that's like. I don't think that's. Is that something to applaud? Like, like, oh man, you it really took a lot of willpower for you to turn nah, on that dude, bro she ugly may, she nigga. She may regret it afterwards and feel bad, so now she's only aiming for rich niggas. How's she gonna regret turning on a bro ugly nigga? What? I thought you said fucking a bro cute nigga. Yeah, no, no, no I'm talking about no, no. I'm what the fuck? 
Why did you add that? He, no one said that. You never said cute nigga. No one said that. There was never a moment I said cute nigga. I never <laughs> said cute nigga. I no, never I, said cute nigga. No. I never said, no, 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 no point at me, nigga. No, no. I never said cute no, nigga. No, you said something around them calibers. I never said cute. never said that, dog. I never said cute. He never said that. I said ugly. I kept saying ugly. Oh. Broken ugly. Broken I ugly. Broke cute niggas. <laughs> that, why, that's why not even you, close. Nah, yeah. That's not even close to sounding like anything I said, John. That's wild. No, she don't earn. I don't think nobody earned no brownie points for not fucking a broke, ugly nigga. That makes uh, no. That makes no sense. <laughs> I didn't say hey, congrats, you. Catherine. I, yeah, I, knew, I'm saying. Like, you're I not knew you getting, could do it. You're not getting brownie points for that. Like, there's nothing that you gain from that. <laughs> but if a multi-millionaire came up to her and, and was like. Like, or, yeah. or a man with a lot of riz. Yeah, like a man, a man with a lot of riz, handsome, 6'10", Serge Ibaka caliber nigga. Oh, you can't denounce Serge. So if you turn that down, that makes that like, okay, I yeah, for sure. But not no fucking 5'5", five, five broke, dusty nigga. That don't make no, like, I'm not, I'm not giving you, there's no props to that. There's no props to that. There's yeah. no props to that. You no. made that ass. You may eat ass. Damn. You think if you're ugly, bro? That's even, but that's even worse, John. Like, think about that. What if a girl came to you like, I, I fucked this five, five broke, ugly nigga just because he ate ass? That's not like, you're not about to. <laughs> nah, what is I don't that? A girl would ever come up to me and say, that's it. <laughs> that's crazy. I don't think I'm sleeping. But that, but I'm that, it, it don't <laughs> even make, it don't even make any sense for some, for, yeah, that um, would sound good for a bad that. chick, for a bad chick to fuck a dusty nigga just because he eats ass. Yo, stop that's, saying it like that. That's what this nigga said. Like, also, that. I, I did as I understand why women fuck with dusty niggas. Cause they do something good. Probably the clean nigga don't do that good. And there is a video right now going around where like yeah. there's just glitching the clean nigga don't do nothing good. There's a video going on right now where this girl said that she fucked this dude twice and might actually still fuck him right now. Because on the first day they met, um, he was acting like a little aggressive. She's trying to figure out, like, why, why was he doing all that? And then she sat there and asked him, like, oh, I see you in good shape. So, like, why? Like, how do you stay in good shape? And he's like, oh, I fight. And then she's like, what do you mean fight? Like, MMA, boxing? He's like, oh, no, I just fight random dudes that I meet on Craigslist. <laughs> nah, he's crazy. <laughs> and then, nah, and then, that's, she, that's and then crazy. she followed that line by saying, and she's like, yep, this is that guy I'm going to give it up to. So I fucked him twice. But that's, and I might and you fuck know him right now. And you know what? That's perfectly fine. But uh, when she's done fucking that, that guy and she's like wait, 28 she or some shit. No, no, she wasn't she, she just she was dating and she oh. just so happened to date that guy. And then Yo, he and said, that, I fight niggas, I meet randomly on Craigslist and got pussy. Yes. And I don't understand. Niggas that. Not no pussy is, is crazy. And y'all trying. <laughs> you guys getting, are trying. Niggas, I fight <laughs> random niggas on Craigslist for and free. Legs fly over. For free. That's how he stays in shape. Nah, That's your recreational fighting is crazy. From Craig <laughs> and now with your friends, from Craig like with from strangers, Craig like fighting from offer up fights. <laughs> Let's go fights. Kijiji fights, <laughs> man. Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> you got lawn care, appliances, random fights. <laughs> It's I'm like a matchmaking system. I don't you put in your height, your height, really, your weight, and they put you in a weight, weight class, class with someone fight in the area. Fight down. <laughs> I really want to know why, like in street fighting category. But the same, <laughs> I really want to know why women do that, though. Don't care. World Star needs to make that happen ASAP. Car appliances, food, Boxing. catering, random niggas fighting in the street category. <laughs> nah. um... Yeah, I always found it weird. Um, I guess I just never had that appeal, the, the fighting people in the street appeal. But multiple women have told told me or told someone that's told me that, like, I'm the type of person they would eventually, like, get around to, like, settling down with, like, something long-term. Which is, like, offensive as fuck, bro. It is. It is. <laughs> they make me sound like, boring as fuck, dog. I'll, I'll, c- I'll come along to you. Come give me, give me, like, six, seven years. There's a girl there. that will, like, yeah. get rid of but it was a girl I was bad <laughs> as... What he said? He said, after I get done with all the Johns out there... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna no sit down. But here's the thing, though. That's, that's like... Um, that's kind of fucked up, because that's assuming that I'm just, 
like doing nothing. Like I'm just <laughs> suspended no in a state of doing nothing, dealing yeah. with nobody until she come along type shit. Yeah, I'll be, you know I'll be back so you don't worry about it. Yeah, just keep working hard. <laughs> she, do what she you said do. That, yeah, keep working hard. Raise your capital. <laughs> when when I come back, we'll be at one point two level of like sustainability. Okay, let me say, let me say, no one said it to me directly. Like I asked them, like, yo, like, what are you trying to do? And she's like, nah, I just want to. But you could, you get the vibe that that's how they feel though. Based on their reluctance, reluctancy to like do certain things, ah. Uh, but a couple of people, I've literally heard like she said that about you, and one person said it to me as like, and thought I was gonna like treat that as a compliment, like, oh fuck, for real, like. And I'm like, that's not a compliment like, you're the to guy me. That I would talk to right now, just to put my foot in the door, and leave you, but I'm gonna end up with you. Yeah. <laughs> You gonna be the guy I end up with Jack and Friona. And I'm like, so you know what's funny is I always try and like That's nuts. It's so hard to <laughs> understand. That's such a nuts concept, bro. Yeah, it is. It is. I don't know. I feel like our call is more 2025. That's <laughs> <laughs> so that's I believe in divine time. Yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. time yeah. stars and she's a she's saying like, like, like once I like fuck around for like six, seven years, might have a child, credit all fucked up. And still living with my parents, then that's when I'll come to my senses and start fucking with you. Yeah, and this, and she wasn't right, like for that nigga again with that double zero nigga, bro. <laughs> we, we down bad, <laughs> <laughs> Lights off. Bro. Hey, pops, your yeah, pops starting to kick you out, and you're like, all right, I finally give it to this nigga. Hey, baby, where that, where that double zero at, nigga? Bro, with all, the, all the bread. I see this nigga on TV right now. Call that nigga. <laughs> That nigga was on a house of hot. That nigga was on ESPN. That boy, that boy out there with that, that, right that, that, that kid, that, that, that Williams kid, that, that Hooper. <laughs> oh, that at the OTH. Oh, OTF. Only the little dirty, yeah. little dirty, little basketball headquarters. Let, let, let that nigga oh. fuck right now. Yeah, that boy said he got a million. Girl, you better suck some dick. <laughs> You better suck it good so, too. You know, you know, so Put your really, neck in it. <laughs> you know what's so fucked up too? There's dead ass women like that right now, no cap. There's dead ass a bunch of women who and, and there's men like this too, where like people are just fucking oh. wasted the first like five, seven years oh. out of their life out of high school. And they just think, they just immediately think, oh, now that I'm I, I'm done with that period of my life, now I can just start settling down with a nigga or a woman who took it, who took their lives more seriously than I did for the first, for those last five, seven years. And it's like, you fucking, there's no way. Shut the fuck up. I'm not about to fucking wife you right What? Why would I do that? Did you get gay bang in 2019? <laughs> exactly. Why? Wow, nigga, stop, bro. I, t- I, I had to take my life seriously for five years. Where was my you invite? got the fuck around and now you like, nigga, Nah. I, t- I took my life since for five years now, nah, but you, you didn't. Black. Nah, that, but look, that is actually, <laughs> I think, a common way of thinking, even to the point where the women that I've dated, I get the vibe that they identify pretty early on that, like, oh, this is not like a person you just, uh, like, this is not like a, I, it, it wouldn't be in my best interest to engage with this person if it was just short term. Yeah. So then they start like holding back on things that they feel like they have leverage on, and they start telling me shit like, "Oh no, I don't do anything for like the first three dates, or I like to get to know someone for." And it's all cap. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. You cold. I don't believe you had those principles at all. At all. I know me. Uh, just uh, for you, I know me. Wait about two weeks before I give it up. Normally, just gotta fill it out. <laughs> just but it's a fourteen day pussy policy. Fourteen day pussy policy. <laughs> And for five years, it's been a it's been a fourteen hour pussy lock. But I would I would dead be like I would dead be like that pussy been unlocked <laughs> for everybody else burglary. <laughs> but um yeah, so it's interesting because I always think like how do people perceive me? Um, because I think some of those decisions they make off rip. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they like do. in your first convo with them, they kind of come to that. So changing their mind is kind of difficult. Um, and even when um we was here on the podcast and Justin a couple podcasts ago and Justin was telling me that. Um, that I I looked mad serious. I was like, oh wow, interesting. I I didn't know I looked that serious at the crib or anything like. Maybe I I was just working all the time, so I looked serious. I was like, I didn't know I gave that impression. That's interesting. I wonder why I do that. Even when I was in uni one time, they asked us to like pick a. We got in groups and they asked us to pick an artist that you're most like, and everybody gave me Kanye like unilaterally. And it was a class of like sixty people. And I ain't know them all that well. So some of them knew me a decent amount, and some of them didn't know me at all. I was like, how did everyone come to that conclusion? What about it? Um, so anyway, anyway, I took that as an insult. 
right there. It is an insult. I took it as it. Not, I know they wasn't trying. It's like when someone comes up to me it's and they're an like, insult. yo, agent, I used to <laughs> watch you insult. all the time. It's one of those. No, it's not. Like, you it's, used it's to a, watch it's me. A, it's an insult. It's, it's, I've, I view it as an insult because it literally means once I get to bullshit around, I know for a fact you're going to do what you need to do in your life. But, they, and they, then, but it's said in code words, though. That's how I know it. They say they associate me with like words like husband. Sort of God. But that's still, but that means... Or they'll say like... So that means that I, you expect me to be hus, hus, husbandly or whatever. And if I can't expect you, that means you're not wifely right now. So you expect me to be husbandly or whatever the word is all seven, five, seven years and just wait for you to just turn <laughs> yes. into a wife. Said, wait. And, and then that's when we're going to... Like, what? why would I do that? What What the fuck was the... What's the point of that? And, and I, I would actually... I wish I... I don't want to te- go back and ask these women because I guess I technically could for my own curiosity, but I wish I knew why they feel that way because I'm so like, I guess the same way with y'all. I'm so like unresponsive and detached that I'm not entirely sure what gives them that impression. Dog. I don't know. Like I do, well, I talk to any girl I've dated. I, I never did two a week. Actually, one time I did actually, that's cap, but I never did more than once a week and I'd be dragging it once it'd be like once a month and Unless we're linking, unless it's a call about us, but we're about to link and do something like play, we're not talking. I'm not casually talking with you for the most part. Yeah, I don't know. Um, maybe like the first week is not like that because I want to get to know him type shit. But it's just, I, I just feel like when, when they say that, it just, it, it means what it means. It means that I'm about to go bullshit for my life. I'm not ready to take my life serious right now. But I know you are taking shit serious right now. So in some regards, they're being responsible because they're like, I'm not being serious right now, and I don't want to fuck up your path of seriousness and preparing your life, et cetera, et cetera. But it's also like disrespectful to what you're doing because then they're saying, one day when I do decide to take shit serious, that's when I can see like really being in a, in a long-term relationship with you because you're like husband material. But the, the reality is like the damage that happened in all of those years of you not taking life serious would then fuck up where I'm at as well. Because no, not I'm, just that. That's a turnoff. Like, well, yeah, not it's, it's a turnoff, like, but in terms fuck. of the way that we, well, at least I'm going to say, the way that I view it, I view it as it fucks up what I got going on because that means I have to deal with all the baggage that came along with all the fucking other, all those Hold years that now. you never John took John is serious. up to some devious. He's either right now on FaceTime or he's giving a selfie video of himself. One of the two is happening. Uh-huh. But then also, yeah, it's, it's a turnoff because it's like, I don't know what the fuck just happened in <laughs> five, seven years, though. He definitely on FaceTime. <laughs> Crazy. Anyway, Yo, yeah, you got to wrap up the podcast because John, yeah, John, John holding the podcast back. Huh? I ain't hold, nigga. We two hours and ten minutes in. I, I, uh, mm. no, we, but we did an ad earlier, so we good, dog. Come on now, unless you want us to be done. No, I don't. I don't care. Go ahead. Um, but yeah, nigga? I've uh, <laughs> and you know, it's it's always like nines and higher that say shit like that. No, I don't say always, but Not that's always, for the most no. part, in my experience. My but it's opinion. not. It's not. I mean, and I just mean ex- exclusively visually. It's not. A, it not no, 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 in, I get, yeah. I, but there's a bunch of eight sevens and sixes who probably think that they're higher than what they are. <laughs> who will also say that as well. John is up to some shit, dog. I know. I see this. But uh, yeah, it's a bunch of it's a bunch of ugly ass women who say some shit like that too, right? Right, John. Right, Lo. I am Facetime, nigga. <laughs> right, Lo. Yeah, he up to something. Yeah, I know, I know. But, um, yeah, I, I, I wish people were more honest, like, in regular conversations, because then you can kind of learn a lot about yourself. Like, I love learning things about my own. Wow, why, why, do, why do I feel serious to people? Or why do I give people this impression? You know, maybe I could, like, adjust that. I don't want people to think I'm serious 24-7. I'm not. Um, but, yeah. Also, the, the, um, for black women, the drug dealer syndrome is crazy. They just want a hood, nigga. Just so yeah, that, that might be it. You know, I've never dated anyone that wasn't black since I moved here. What's good? No, I want to try. It it. I want to try things though. <laughs> keep it in the family. You want to try things? I don't. I I honestly do not find white women attractive. What? Like not like what would uh what people would consider a ten for a white woman to me would probably be like a seven. I'm not even. I'm not even joking. Like, oh, I, don't, I, I genuinely do not find white women attractive. Huh. Like what? Scarlett Johansson, I don't think I don't think that she's all that. Wow, I, I I genuinely don't. 
But also, it was no, I still remember I said the whole drug dealing thing because it was a uh, TikTok where they responded to uh, um, another TikToker, and it was ironically it was a white woman and a black man, and then the white woman was trying to explain what it's like dating a black a black man, mm-hmm. which in and of itself is fucking crazy because you know. All black men are not the same. But she was trying to sit here and explain, give a tutorial guide about how to date black men. And this and this black woman interrupted her, like, see, this is the reason why, like, y'all can't do this, y'all can't da 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 da. Like, and then she also said, like, for A, it all black men are the same, so you can't make a tutorial on how to date a black man. But then she also said, like, you don't even know how to like the reason why you can't talk, you the reason why black men are so sensitive by the culture is because you all can't relate. You all can't sit there and confide to a black man when the world beat him up and came back home and you had to sit there and hold him and nurture him emotionally and physically because he just got beat up by the world. You also have to be there and support him financially because he just got done with his drug money and now he has to do nine to five money. So those are two different types of money. And I was like, why the fuck are black men, auto- even from a black woman, why is, a, why is black men immediately associated with drug money? What the fuck is going on? Wow. Even in the attempt of trying to be progressive or trying to be pro black, you I still associate black men with drugs. Also, that's horrible logic. Someone has to be you or be like you or do what you do to understand you. You should try and find someone that understands you. Like, you don't have to, if I'm a musician right now, and I'm like, let's say I'm a rapper, I don't need to date a rapper to be understood. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Or to be comforted. Some people believe that, though. Well, they're dumb. <laughs> That's horrible logic. Wow. Like, why don't you uh, explain to them what it's like? Yeah, I know. You can and just see if, like, they're understanding. Yeah. That's crazy. I've never dated a YouTuber, but I felt like I was understood by plenty of people. Yeah, I got a whole bunch of shit. shit. I don't want to say plenty of people. By some. Oh, before we go, shout out to Kenny. Um, oh, wow. Yes. Because not, not only not only had a child, which we knew, the gender reveal, it's a girl. Yes. And... He's getting married. Oh, he when the fuck did that happen? I missed yeah, that. That, one? Ha- that happened in the same video when they, they did the gender reveal. Oh, I just I was on Twitter. I didn't watch the video. Oh no, it's a video on Twitter. They did a gender reveal, and oh, then after they revealed man. the revealed the gender, he got on one knee and, and proposed. So shout out to Kenny, man. That's incredible, man. Shout out to Kenny. You know what I'm right? saying? You found your partner early, man. That's beautiful, man. Shout out Kenny. Shout out to Kenny, dog. That's a great man right there. Love to have you on a podcast anytime, Kenny. Bro, every time great he goes man. to Atlanta, I ask him. Every time, and he like, he's in here, and he's gone immediately. Hopefully, next time he can stay a little bit longer, man. Great I know, man, I know he's Kenny. on a tight schedule, and I'm sure things show up on his calendar. Not going for it. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. We have phones, and them still don't work. Yeah. So what a calendar. <laughs> I'm not. No, 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 no. Calendar is vital. Stop it, John. Cut it out, bro. Come it's on. vital, but also as a phone. Bro, what? So without your phone, what, you access you... your calendar. I access my calendar on my phone and my computer, my laptop, dog. So when you on your phone or your calendar, you don't see the text messages on your phone. Yeah, but think the about cal- it. the calendar's an app. You Bro, gotta add. I wish external. I knew how. Ex- you gotta add more apps. My in. phone is in a perpetual state of blowing up all day and you night, know, dog. You know your text message now. You have you can put priority messages. Yeah, I you're might, not on I'm, there, John. I'm, you know what's so crazy? You're not, you're not on there, dog. You know, you know what's so crazy? <laughs> I might I might even give him the benefit of the doubt, but there's days where he's not here in the state. When we're recording a podcast, yeah, it should be. I put the peer to peer in my priority, my messages. Oh, did you? Yeah, I fuck so with that. Something happened. I'm old job. It's not in my priority, but yeah, I just uploaded. I just but, got iOS 15 yesterday because I had to pair it with my watch, and I just started putting things on priority. Only only thing I do is I just put it. I just make sure on the days of the podcast. I just make sure between um, four o'clock and the rest of the day, I'm I'm my my schedule's free. No, you don't. You put you back to 8.30 every pod. No, I'm just talking about like I don't have anything to do from 4 to the rest of the day. Oh, interesting. So you be chilling when you push the time back? <laughs> no, I, no, I be at the house probably working, but nothing like that's so time consuming I can't stop when I'm doing it. Oh, that. okay. All well, right. all that be being said, people, way. shout out to my podcast. People like to rock with Sean with another episode of Peer to Peer Podcast. Any last words, Agent? The Toronto Raptors won. They're 6-3 without Pascal Siakam. That's some goat shit. And they beat the Wizards, who've been playing phenomenal so far this season. Pascal Siakam might get packed up. Yeah, he'd be, he be a pass packed. Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> you try. Hey, um, I think that the Raptors are going to get Joel Embiid in the next couple of years. Bold statement. I think uh, so. Y'all need another guard. Y'all need an elite level guard to pull that off. Um, John, any final words?
Yeah. Yeah, they know exactly yeah, what I said. They had to say none. They knew it. You felt that, sentence. Yo, shout out to all my audio people out there. Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, and Podcast. Continue to rate us a five star. Shout out to my YouTube people as well. Continue to show us love. Make sure you leave a comment down low. Hit all the links in the description. Hit the subscribe button. And also hit the notification bell to join Nodi Gang, 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 Gang. And finally, shout out to my word of my people on all the platforms. Twitch, Twitter, IG, LinkedIn, TikTok. LinkedIn is crazy. You know, y'all still showing us love everywhere we go. And Facebook too. Now we got a Facebook. Actually, yeah, Facebook um, playback. Facebook, you know, like, well, catch us there too. You catching up with your grandma? Catching up with your fucking grandma. Hey, appreciate y'all, man. But until next time, we'll see y'all later, man. Toodles. Peace.